It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. And the show. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week of brilliant idiotness. Wax is here. Yo. You got a fresh pair of Tim's, you know. Yo. Yep. Only right since uh, Versus was last night. Mm. Yes, the I locks mm. uh, versus the diplomats. Mm-hmm. One of the most New York things I've seen in a very long time. God bless New York. That was 1990s problematic, toxic masculinity, hip hop at its finest. Yes. I tuned in. Oh, I loved it. Wow. I don't watch Versus, bro. You've never watched the Versus? That's the only verse that I've watched Why? live. Why? Actually, no, I think I tapped into one other versus. No, no, I think it was just clips. Because you were a New Yorker. You had to watch that one. Yeah, dude, it was crazy. I, um, it was just crazy. I, I will say Jadakiss and uh, Styles and Sheik and Freaky and Jim and Cam and Jewels, they have no respect for their 40 and up crowd, which is everybody. Okay, <laughs> because you don't start a goddamn versus at 1030 at night. <laughs> <laughs> on a Wednesday. I think it's time. Knowing I got to sleep, okay? I was like, it really felt like we were staying up for a NBA West Coast playoff game. <laughs> yeah. That's how it felt. I'm like, man, do I really want to stay up to watch this shit? And then you happy you did because you saw somebody score 63. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. JD Kiss gave us 63. You said it was one of the best performances at the Garden ever. Now, you're, 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 you're a native included. New Yorker. Yeah. You're a native New Yorker, so you tell me. I got top five MSG moments. I got Willis Reed limping out in game seven in 1970. That's got to be up there, right? Yeah. I got Jordan scoring 55 when he was wearing the 45 jersey. That's got to be up there, right? Yeah. Um, we don't I, count performances against us. Yeah, well, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's like, not, up that's there. not <laughs> Sorry. us. We don't care about you that. You got to tell me some better moments. Willis Reed, we only know because we watched the grainy ass footage. No New Yorker actually remembers and that that's shit. That's one of the care. championships. Y'all got to know that one. Of course, but we don't know about it. Uh, Reggie I, Miller scoring it, it, eight points in nine seconds. Yo, you being wild Come disrespectful on, right now. Come <laughs> on, yo. You being wild yo. disrespectful, and I've been listening to the locks Listen. all last night yo. and this morning. Yo, Frazier, Frazier. Wax might have to work today. Listen, Frazier knocking out, <laughs> Frazier <laughs> knocking out Ali in the garden. Woo. Come on, bro. A lot of bad shit happened in the garden, bro. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and you, you got to tell me a Knicks moment other than Willis Reed that's better than the ones I named. Don't think too hard. LJ. Four point play. That was good. Mm-hmm. Stop it. It was cute. It wasn't worth anything. Stop it. What was it worth? Stop it. It was. It was cute. worth four points. And I love LJ. I thought I used to think I was Larry Johnson at one point in my life. Why? Because he dressed up like a lady. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But, but that wasn't worth. It was, what was that? Was it a playoff game? Right? Stop, 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 stop. You acting crazy. That's better than it's Willis a Reed. Game winning four point play. It was. It was in beast. the playoffs. It was beastie. But I don't know if it's nah, better than Frazier knocking out Ali. That's one of the greatest performances ever. Jadakiss top five, bro. Jadakiss, Jadakiss at MSG last night. What he did, I've never seen a rapper ever in my life. Hold on. Frazier ain't knock out Ali. He yes, won he a did. decision. Well, he, he beat, no, he beat he him up bad. Him yeah, he dropped him and he broke his back. jaw, but he yeah. didn't finish him. Yeah, he didn't knock him out, but he beat him up bad. Phew. Okay. Yo. okay. Yeah, 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 he beat him up bad. He beat, but it, and then in hindsight, right? Yeah. When we look Scared at Ali the way we look at Ali. Yeah, yeah. Why you trying to make shit worse that happens in the garden? <laughs> Hater. <laughs> <laughs> Hater. I'm just saying. Yeah, what else a, happened in the garden, That's a big bro. moment, yo. Not too many people can say they did that thought, Lee, bro. Didn't Starks dunk over somebody? John Starks. Jordan. Yeah. We talking about, we talking about Frazier. Jordan. Jordan. We talking about I don't know if that was in the garden, though. Was, was it in the garden? The dunk. Yeah, it was yeah. in the garden. Yeah. Come on. Put some respect yeah, on Put some respect on John Starks. Jordan dunked on Ewing in the garden. Jordan dropped 55 in the 45 jersey in the garden. Yeah, yeah, Y'all let Michael Jordan in the 45 put 55 up, bro. Yeah, whatever. Come on, man. Whatever. All I know is last night, Jada Kiss being a native New Yorker, he showed up in the uh, garden. Even that's disputed. <laughs> <laughs> it's disputed. I mean, like Yonkers not New York. Yonkers is New York. Yo, come over to my crib. Where you live, New York? Yonkers. Well, y'all can't claim DMX then. Say what? Y'all can't claim DMX. We either. don't. We Our don't. Mary J. Blige. But here's the thing: DMX wow. is from Brooklyn. Mm-mm. He is. Why? Oh, born and raised. No, he's from Brooklyn. Nah, it's a lie. Nah, if we like you, you from Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. If New Yorkers like you and you're not from New York, you're from Brooklyn. So where the locks from? They from Brooklyn. <laughs> where Mary J. Blige from? You from Brooklyn? Brooklyn. Yeah. Okay. All yeah, right. yeah. All right. Name okay. one person. Like, think about it. Name one. <laughs> Bernie Sanders from Brooklyn. Jay Z. Jay Z from Brooklyn. Michael Jordan. Biggie. Michael Jordan from yeah, Brooklyn. Yeah, Tupac yeah. from Brooklyn too. <laughs> Everybody from Brooklyn, bro. Biggie. For real. Name one person. Oh, Name one God. person. Where De Blasio from? I have no idea. I need neither. Fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> motherfucker from Jersey. Fuck him. Okay? All I know is I've never seen a rapper 
do what JD Kids did last night. Nah, what he I, killed it. And what I mean by that is we see athletes in the zone all the time. Like, mm-hmm. you know when an athlete's in the zone yep. against somebody and you're like, fire. bro, he can't be stopped. Like Kevin Durant, game five against the Bucks, On just the will to win. That's what I saw from Jada last night. Pull, up, pull ups give you mad confidence, man. I seen confidence in it. Pull ups and juicing. I was gonna nah, get some man. of that pink horsepower from Cam, but I think I'm gonna just juice now. You, you gotta go I mean? juice, bro. Yeah, just you gotta juice. go yeah, juice, yeah. bro. I'm serious. I think that Jada was inspired by the um by uh by Yimmy Ya, bro. Yimmy Ya? Probably. I think it might be Yimmy Ya, yeah, yeah, yo, yesterday was August 3rd. Shallow waters dropped. <laughs> oh, was that what? Shallow waters what dropped a yesterday. What number a one. <laughs> yes, no, hey, I need a Kovacs' new day. book, Shallow number, Waters. Number dropped? one bestseller on Amazon. And Get out of here. Books. Come on, man. Don't leave me hanging, Come bro. On, man. <laughs> Treat me like Joel's out here. <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed it, though. I'm not gonna lie. Full disclosure, even though I love the locks, I love D Block. I picked Dipset to win, and the reason I had picked Dipset to win because, you know, not because they're better lyricists. They're definitely not better lyricists than Jada Kiss our, our, our styles, uh-uh. but just because they got bigger records, and you know, like the diplomats. Absolutely one of the biggest cultural movements to ever come out of I New York. The crowd was that transcended nationwide. Did wide. it come out of New York? That's the mean? thing about Dipset. Is like, and again, I'm I'm an old head here. Harlem's so not like, New York either. That's what you're about to tell me. Now Harlem's New York. Mm-hmm. Harlem, they try to act like they're not Manhattan. You from Manhattan? All these guys that all claim Harlem. You're from Manhattan. This well, is our island. We're, we're <laughs> all sharing island. Why you say it's not from New York? But what I think Dipset did, and I thought that, the, and I actually admired the, uh, them for this, but like they leaned into their community. Harlem. Harlem. Mm-hmm. But that's Harlem. All Harlem does that. Of course. Yeah. But they didn't try to take that culture and expose it to the rest of the world. Right? It was like, Cam is fine being a king of Harlem. And I admire that. Because a lot of motherfuckers, that's not enough. They need more, they need yeah. more, they need more. And they water their shit down. And they make it unrelatable to the people that brought them there. Mm-hmm. And it seemed like the diplomats were like, no, nah, Harlem, these are our people. This is our community. They're going to ride with us no matter what. We're going to do it. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't know. I thought that I was just like a, whereas like, I don't know, the locks, for whatever reason, it just feels like it's more universal. I got, nah, I, I mean, both. I Listen, here's the thing. Here's the thing about culture. You can you can have a culture strictly to your own in your community, but that don't mean that people see it, they won't want to imitate it and emulate it, which is what happened with Dipset. You know what I mean? Like Cam had guys wearing pink, bro. White yeah. people been wearing pink. Stop it with that. Well, black guys. <laughs> yeah, black guys wearing pink. Which Stop is big. Stop white That's shit huge. and then making it big. cool and then we don't get no credit for it. Which is big. Y'all been it from babies. We've been gay first. <laughs> <laughs> okay? We love the gays. <laughs> Yo, but... I listen. I um, <laughs> I love the gay. I mean, I love the gays too. I love them so much. People listen, think I'm gay. Let, yeah. <laughs> but listen, you know, the dipset, diplomats definitely was universal though. Say what? And D Block though. Yeah, Yo, D Block. Last, last night was all about block. momentum though. You oh know what I'm saying? God. <laughs> but that's what I mean. Like what you saw last night was absolutely Dunking momentum that I've never that's seen. All it was, momentum. Yeah, in, a, in a in a rap show but i mean versus is the first of its kind right because uh-huh. you know they there's their rappers battling each other with their catalogs i just i just never thought i could see a rapper will his team to victory the way jada kiss did like yo because because to, to the to the point i was making about diplomats and why i picked them they got big records right so uh-huh. jada kiss the locks they start off with um fuck you right but then dipset counted with um was it was it i really mean it I really mean it. Was it I really mean it? Or was it, what was it? Pull it up, pull it up real quick. Let me see which one it was. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's what it was. Okay, so the locks did fuck you. And then the dip, like, dip, dip set counted with I'm ready. I'm ready is a great record. What? And in any, I, I would think in any other setting other than in a live show, I'm ready should be fuck you. You know what I mean? Then the diplomats came with get crunk music. I love that song. Then they dropped Band from TV. And in my mind, I was like, damn, it's real early for the locks to get into features. But this, and then the next one, Sucker Than Dot, Cameron. Fire. Fire record. But then they came with Niggas Done Started something. Yeah. Progressive, too. Suck it or not, like, those well, are your choices. Like, you can suck it or you could not. This <laughs> one I knew shit. This, <laughs> like, this, that's what I'm saying. That's progressive. Like, for Dipset, <laughs> that's growth. <laughs> it's a right? question. You gonna suck it or not? Back in the day, it was, you know, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. I beat my bitch with a stick. Lord have mercy. That's that was song? a real song, was it not? I never heard that one. Charlie, you never heard that one? Uh-uh. 
Bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. That's I beat dog. my bitch with a stick. What? I ain't here to beat, beat you my bitch. You can lick on the nuts or suck the dick. I beat my bitch with a it stick. It ain't no beat what? with a stick. Oh, I ain't yeah. never heard that, 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 that before. Y'all not real hip hop fans. <laughs> I ain't never heard that before. That was a country song. What's, what post Malone shit? That's what I sound like, for real. This when I knew. This when I knew shit was different. Yeah. When they Market. did, when they did, get them girls, live my life, and then Jada Kiss came with the Who Shot You freestyle. Mm. Now that freestyle is wild old. It's off a of DJ Clue mixtape, but it still sounds so fresh and timeless. And I'm listening to the youngins in the crowd ooing and on because they, they never heard, heard it before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ah. So it's new to them. But when I saw, when I saw Jada do that and the crowd went crazy, I was like, okay, this is different. Yeah. This isn't about this isn't about the songs tonight. This is about who got the best live performance, who got the most energy, and that's what yo. The, the, like my man Artemis Gordon said on Instagram, the locks look like the four tops. They look in sync. You know what I mean? They look like oh, they've been. They look yeah. like they look like they've been performing together for years. Yeah. They had a routine. Like you just couldn't Still fuck with training. it. You Let's know. Jump. Then you got Jada Kiss going fifteen for fifteen from the field with eight three pointers. Yeah. You know what I mean? Went to the line. 15 times, had another 15 for 15 from the line. Yeah. 12 assists, 11 rebounds. Momentum, Styles dropped a nice 29 and 9. Yeah. Sheik had 18 rebounds, six Ooh. blocks, yeah. zero points. Zero points. But, <laughs> but, but, but he was such a factor on defense, yeah. a lot of hustle plays. He was, he was. And the DJ, oh man, salute the technician, man. Him and Jaden ran the pick and roll all night. It was just, nice. they just outperformed. They literally just outperformed the diplomat. That's okay. it. That's two, it. Two questions. One, will coolness ever beat energy when it comes to a live performance? Depends how cool you are. Yeah. Because cool. Jay Z's coolness could probably beat the energy of somebody. The, depending I, depending I, on what the energy is. And on what it is. Because I don't think Jay Z's coolness could beat DMX's energy. That's the yeah. thing. And what happens oftentimes, like if your coolness is better than the energy, the energy comes off as forced and corny. Yeah. But if the energy is more authentic than the coolness, the coolness just comes off as coy and shy. Yeah, and that's kind of what was happening here. It's like Jada's energy was so authentic. He was so passionate. He was so hyped. He was so excited that the Dipset guys seemed like nervous or something. Like it was yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah. They came, they, they, they came and snatched souls early. You know what's so funny? My man, uh, we was in the barbershop. It's so, it's so interesting in New York today because everywhere you go, all you hear They're is the locks. About it. But, but literally, I walked in here at the studio. They playing the locks. Yeah. Six white guys and Alex. <laughs> <laughs> with the locks blaring that's what I told you I think I think that right there made them everybody know what the locks really about I think anybody they knew know I that. just think they appreciated them well, that's what Versus does Versus makes you appreciate what we already know it just mm -hmm. it's a reminder if yeah. the locks were from Brooklyn they'd be the biggest rap group in history nah they're from Yonkers and it's hard for people to relate to that it's hard for people to get behind that but if they were representing <laughs> New York do you know what Brooklyn would do? They are representing New York they're they, representing Yonkers they're like, they, they're like the they're most New York Yonkers is not they're, New York they're representing Yonkers Bro, they had on, yo Jada had on Tim's and camouflage for is that what you think band. of us? is yes. that what you think of yes. us? yes <laughs> Okay. Racist. Jada it's had, racist. Jay, that's the other thing too. The diplomats came looking like they were ready for a fight. Yeah. I mean, not the diplomats. The locks came the locks looking came like they were ready for a fight. They were ready for had war. the Tims on with ready the camouflage for fatigue yeah. shorts. You know, Styles had on the sweatsuit with you know the I'm shorts. Outside. You know what I mean, bro? Sheik looked like he could have either gotten to a club or cut grass. You know what I mean? Yeah, like he was ready. they were he was ready. ready. He they was, were ready for ready. whatever could happen. Right back to Home Depot after the set. Let's <laughs> go, baby. Yo, he had. A, it was hilarious when Jim Jones had that guy put a chain on him, and yeah. Styles just simply said. That's so corny. Yo, that yeah, killed amazing. me, bro. That's is that not New York? Is that is the most. Oh, that yeah. is the most. Like, <laughs> like you try to do something to make you a big stepper, and there's just some dude in the background like corny. Corny, corny bro. <laughs> The most New York moment was when I really thought a suck my dick was about to fly, man. When whoa, Cam and whoa, Jada whoa. was arguing. What'd they say? They was just going back and forth arguing when Jada was like, yo, let me talk. Let me talk. And they was just going back and forth. I'm like, yo, somebody's going to yell suck my dick. And, and this shit is not going to make it to six that songs. Not going to make it. Not going to make it to six songs. Not yo. talking like that. Um, Yeah. No, it was really interesting seeing Cam because I've been such like a huge fan of Cam, bro. I'm like, still a fan of No, I love, I love Cam. I love Cam. You saw him getting dunked on. No, I, it's the Stephen A. Smith hairline. I was, I was watching this guy <laughs> and I'm just like, I need some basketball hot takes. I don't need some rap from this guy right now. You didn't think it was weird to see that? It wasn't odd to see that? Yo, it wasn't odd or what? It was odd. 
What? Right, you still talking about Cam? Still. Yeah, Cam. Don't don't Cam, don't think Cam won't roast your ass on Instagram live. Cam He's still coming. is Cam still is <laughs> phenomenal, bro. He's coming. Cam, you listen, by I'm the way, I'm a Cam fan. I'm spitting bars y'all don't know about from Cam that you probably cut from this episode because they're so crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so by, Cam by the way, Cam had some joints last night too. It's not like Cam didn't say some some witty funny shit. What was he saying when he told he told the lots? He goes, he goes, yo, y'all the best side bitches ever. He's, he goes, y'all. Side dish, y'all rice and peas. Bro. I don't know if people caught it. I missed out. It was that's, funny as fuck. No, nah, like they was that, going. That's not as funny as the stuff that I was hearing. No, nah, no, nah, Jada yeah. says why. Well, Jada told yeah. Freaky Zeke he looked like the uh, <laughs> he looked like the, the the fat dude from Drew Hill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah like yeah. that shit was. Yeah, that's funny. It was good, man. It was just a. It was a great New York battle. I tell you one thing. I don't miss being outside in New York. I tell you that much. Why? Because it got crazy. Hell no, I don't miss that shit at all. Okay, that shit was too intense. I'm just like, I know there's knives in here. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I saw the police officer from the garden come stand on the stage and just stand by everybody just to make sure. But that was, it was good, right? Because it was good, intense throwback energy because you just, you just, that little sense of danger, like yes. something may happen. You're like, it could go down it at could any go point down. in time. Yeah. It just gives us that little sense of, oh. That is so corny. That when he said that, that is so corny. That is so corny. I thought Jim Jones was gonna take that shit off, give it right back to the man. <laughs> Why would you make me do this? Uh, Jada, Jada took Jewel's bandana off. Dude. That was a little wild, bro. I didn't see. That it, was man. a little wild. But then Jewel's was in his face and kind of like bumping him a little bit, so he asked for it. Cam kicked Styles. <laughs> he did. Yes, man. I didn't Cam see that. Styles, Styles was grabbing his shoe, and they kind of like they kind of like broke it up a little bit. Like it what? was just. It was chippy. Like like Styles said last night, that's the best word for it. It was, it was chippy. chippy. It really it had playoff Playoff intensity. basketball, yeah, yeah, they yeah. Was, yeah. Both of them, the locks oh. and the diplomats, acted like it was the playoffs more than the Knicks did in the first round against the Hawks. <laughs> they did. They knew it was a sense of urgency, yo. The, the locks just jumped on them fast and early. I'm from New York. I'm from New York. I don't live in Miami. I don't live in Colorado. I we, I'm outside. That's right. And listen, we can't act like the diplomats didn't have a flurry at one point, too. And it came right after Jada, when Jada did the shout out to Max B. And like, uh, I, I forgot the other dudes he was shouting out, but Jim was like, you shouted out a lot of my homies. And he was like, it's whatever, whatever, forever. And then he was like, because I'm a certified gangster. And a certified gangster drop momentum just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Shit, just no. a little bit. Went to, the, no. went to the dips for a little bit. A little bit. They went on a little run. They went on a little run. Yeah. little run. I mean, it was. Two three-pointers to shut that that's down. That's what I'm saying. Too fast. Real fast. All I know is live shows. Live shows clearly beat hit records. And, and we can't act like both of them. We can't act like both of them don't have cultural anthems. Yes, live performance. Yeah. We can't act like both of them don't have cultural anthems because they do. But it's just the way that the locks perform their cultural anthems over the way the diplomats mm -hmm. perform theirs gave them the victory to me, man. To me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. I think something interesting when I'm watching it. And again, I'm so late in the game, but like, wasn't the beginning of rap battling? Yeah. Right? I mean, yeah. isn't this like the etymology of it? It was. It comes from like a... I don't even know what that word means, but I'm going to go with it. <laughs> like the history, the root of okay, it, right? Okay, it's like okay. Jamaican DJs bat, like battering, 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 <laughs> yeah. uh, battling against each other, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So it makes perfect sense why it's way more exciting in this medium. Like I was saying this earlier when we were talking about Flagrant, I'm like, why isn't this you the concert? Why aren't two artists going out that's Instead fine. of like performing next to each other, or your set than my set, and we're all yeah. holding yeah. hands and Let's it's fun. Nah, yeah. why don't you go out and battle? Why don't we see these two people go out? Everybody That's the tour. That. Well, Dipset doing Everybody that. They, they, Dipset that. and Locks going on tour. Dipset versus Locks. Smart. Wait, is it? Yeah, it's eight cities. They already announced eight cities. Oh, and, I saw. And I think State Property's on it too. No, State Property. I saw that. No, it's Dipset, Locks, and State Property. Oh, I didn't oh, know yeah, that yeah, the Locks yeah. are doing it as well. Yeah. I watch this over and over and over. You know again. who else did that? Um, uh, Wayne and Drake. They had the Wayne versus Drake too. Hey, man, we just gotta admit, hip hop's better when it's a sense of danger, man. Or when there's a sense of competition. Like that's why the beef songs are yeah. crazy because everybody's oh, bringing their best about. bars. It's but, not some lazy bullshit. But that's what I mean. Even with the con when you say competition, you want to know some shit might go down. Yes, yeah. just a little bit, just enough. Like yeah. we don't, we don't want to, we don't want to fight for your action. That's all. We just want to know something could potentially go down. Yeah, just but, a little bit of danger. Even when Gucci Man and Jeezy, even though that was yo, a lot of danger. No, 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 no. I understand. Yeah. I did watch that one. But I watched a little of that because one. it's just like the day is something about the 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 sense of danger that yeah. just makes you want to. 
Tune in. Yeah. That's why we like UFC, right? Yeah. It's like we like boxing. We like combat sports, bro. Hip hop is. See, I see you want to see somebody get knocked out. A lot of or close. We want to know it could happen. It could yeah. happen. Yeah. And and last night it did. Last night it never felt like it. No, it did. It did feel like it could happen. Yeah. yeah. No, it did. Especially early on, it felt yeah. like it could happen. The bandana shit was wild. I thought it was going down right there. Damn. Why are these clips not going around? Like yeah. they I are going around. Yeah. I never seen them. Yeah. Someone snatches bandana off your head, and you that just clip should have been going around. Yeah. Say what? Yeah, Jim Jones falling off the stage was kind of I ain't see that either. I saw that today. That's the yo, that's what the internet is so good for. Cause that shit is like they show you all these different camera angles yeah. that you didn't see. <laughs> so it's literally like watching it all over again as you discuss it with people. Yeah. But it was I'm telling you, man, I've never seen an artist, a rapper, or any artist do what Jada Kiss did last night. But to your point, it's because of the competition aspect of it all. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The fact that they were actually battling on stage together, catalog for catalog, it felt like a game. Like I, like I said, I felt like I was up watching a West Coast NBA playoff game, oh, and I watched this guy like will his team to win. Not like his team even needed it. Yeah, you know what I mean. He bought the A game. He just bought the A game. It was yeah. it was real. It was phenomenal, man. Everybody was on point. Shit, everybody, everybody played their position. Uh -huh. the, the DJ salute the DJ technician. He really, really, really was running the pick and roll with Jada and, and the locks all night long, man. It was it was really beautiful. They're definitely fighting before that tour's over. You think so? <clears throat> oh, yeah. yeah. Why you say that? With state property there, too? It depends on if they're getting a lot of money. I think they're chill yeah, out. That guy's old, too, man. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Them guys over 40. I got time for that shit. You really don't want to fight at 40, but yeah. no matter how good you feel. I don't want to fight at 37. That's what I'm saying. Like, you really don't want to fight. As yeah. good as you feel, it's just like, eh. You know what I mean? Yo, Cam's yeah. funny as fuck. You see what he Things posted? Things are definitely not going to hell the same either. Nah. Yeah. You see what he posted on Instagram? What? <laughs> oh, with the guy in the yeah, courtroom? That shit killed me. And he, yo, listen, you got to lean into it, man. That's why I, I did realize, though, why I only listen to the locks when I'm in the gym. This is him leaving the garden. That. Mm -hmm. That's all. <laughs> I, I, I just, I know I only listen to the locks when I'm in the gym and when I'm driving, like when I'm really like hitting the gas, because they really make me want to do something violent. Like they, every That's time I listen to the lock, I like, I'm like, I want to stab somebody with something sharp. Mm. I don't care what it is. Mm. Like you just grab like a fucking Jurassic Park dinosaur toy and stab right. somebody with the tail of it. Like, you want to do that? That's why I only listen to gospel because I ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> That's why I only listen to gospel because I ain't got time for that shit. I really used to do that. Beanie Siegel really had me on some of my bullshit. Nah, they, they, they for real, yo. They, the shit that they talk about, yo, it's just, and they didn't even, it's a lot of records they left on the table. They didn't even do Breathe Easy, bro. If you know Jay, I never been a brother to front. I be in LA wearing any color I want. Like, God, rock guns like shirts. Like, man, man, salute to Dipset, salute to D Block. Thank you for the entertainment, man. You think New York back? Y'all got Kimball Walker now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. I just think that we had a nice moment, remember? I think it's been so long since we've like dominated the rap game culturally. Like, even, like, when we had artists that were really popping or had big records, it felt like it wasn't a New York-influenced style. And it was really cool to watch this moment. Maybe it's just because I'm an old head and I grew up listening to these guys. But, like, it was cool to be like, oh, shit, yeah, we ran the game at one point. Well, oh, well, yeah, well, yeah not, summers and summers. Yeah, 90s, 90s, on, 90s hip-hop, 90s With bars, but also yeah. party anthem. Like, it wasn't like you had to make a choice. Like, there was some yeah. shit like that. Wild Out, when Wild Out played, I felt like I was a child, bro. I went crazy. I got my phone in my hand. My girls pass out of sleep, and I'm listening on low volume, and I just fuck it. She waking I'm gonna up. I'm going to be honest with you. I never I liked the volume up, and we were partying, That's bro. not my favorite Locks record. When Jules said that last night, I kind of felt him. When he was like, oh, that record's corny. That record cheesy. I never liked Wild Enough. And the reason I never liked it, because the Locks are so great. Like, mm -hmm. that felt like a, a, a radio record. It felt like a yeah. reach to get radio play and just... Right. Have like a hit. Like I never liked yeah, Wild Out. God forbid like they have success in their chosen art form. <laughs> I just never liked Wild Out. It's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of records that were dope, like like Ride or Die Chick that was radio friendly. I just never liked Wild Out like that. Wild Out. Wild Out. Yeah, and it you know what it is. You know man, what it that is. That shit goes. You know what it right? is. Nah, nah, Why is he hand, it's bro? It's easy for white people to dance on. It's, it's, we you know, need it simple. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's like if you wild play out. if you play DMX Party Up and Wildin' Out, like wild white people will lose. Out. Oh man, they go crazy. They go it's crazy. Yeah. I could do this. We also like the Bone Crusher one. That's a good one. Oh, never scared. Now that's never scared. Never scared. But see here, that's it's a good point you bring up. That's funny because we never. 
Never you scared play of that shit at like a black club and you're the only white guy there. You're like, very you, scared. You're trying to convince yourself. You're like, I'm not scared. scared. Yeah, right. Definitely right. not now. <laughs> Definitely not in this place. Well, it feels like I shouldn't be. Well, but see, see, but see, that's the thing, right? I don't want nobody to tell me to wild out. Never scared is a record that comes on and you wild out because this is a wilding out energy type of record. Yeah, yeah. Don't tell me to wild out, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like it when they tell me to wild nah. out. <laughs> I need permission yeah. to wild out. He said, to wild he said it. He said it. I didn't <laughs> want to do it. He, Jada Kiss told me to do it. So I started doing it. Nah. I'm obedient. No, nah, it was. I, I thought it was really, really good, man. Really good. So you don't think New York back? Y'all got Kimba walking now? Stop it. What does that mean? Julius that Randle? Mean? Stop it. Derrick Rose resigned. You, you, you're being an asshole. <laughs> and, and you're trying you to mean? do it in, in like. Y'all got a good. Yo, the Knicks got a good team. I think I'm, I'm, I'm I always root for the Knicks. I like the Knicks. Mm -hmm. You fuck with the Lakers, though. Mm hmm. The Lakers. Fuck. No, stop. Nah, stop. Nah, stop. Nah, don't be like so. that. Don't be like that. No, nah, but no, the Knicks is. That's we're going to find a way to fuck it up. It's what we do. The Lakers got names. And names. The Lakers got names. The Lakers need more shooters. And they need more defense. And they they got to get a little faster, don't you think? The Lakers got every person in the league that hasn't won a championship. That's mm. not true. Who they signed, they got championship. Russell Westbrook. White Howard. Russell got a championship? No, not Russell. Not Russell. Okay. Not Does Melo. Carmelo one. have a championship? No. Nah, not Russell or Melo. But Dwight got a chip. He got it from there. It's only that's it. He's been LeBron there, already had one. What I'm trying to say is they're not signing people that have championship winning experience. He, yeah, I, and I think they I think they might be too slow. I think Russell runs. Westbrook is fast. He'll still be fast, but I just think yeah. they might be they need some speed, don't you think? Some mm. speed, some defense, some shooters. I think LeBron's just trying to get his homies paid. <laughs> <laughs> I really yeah, think come that's over right here yeah. before y'all leave. Come oh, y'all yeah. uh, more contract, to get buy a boat, yeah. buy a car, do yeah. whatever the fuck you want. Nah, I, gotta, I don't even think LeBron. I got a couple cares one more contract. LeBron trying to get another ring, bro. Envy said this wildest take ever this morning. Envy said if Carmelo wins a ring in LA, it'll be like the Knicks want a ring. He'll feel like the Knicks want a ring. Okay. Yeah, they also said Melo might be coming back to the Knicks too, but he went to the Lakers as well. So, you know, and and I'm sorry, New Yorkers, but if Melo gets a ring, it's going to feel like the Knicks got a ring to me. No, I want Melo to get a ring. Up. Yes, it is. Stop I want Melo to get a ring. Stop saying things just to say uh, No, I'm serious. Why would him I'm, getting I'm, a ring with the Lakers have to do with it? Melo, do with Melo the is such a New Yorker to me, and the, New York did <laughs> okay. Melo so dirty, I want Melo to get a ring. You know how many people, in, you know how many people from New York got rings that play in the NBA? <laughs> okay, knock it off. No, New York did Melo dirty, and he deserves it. What? That's not how none of this works. Hell no. Andrew, Come on, if you bro. glad that Melo is a Laker now, like, huh? <laughs> nah, on, bro. bro, that's crazy. That, yeah. That's that, that is delusional. That's delusional. That's like that's a Nick fan knowing in his lifetime he'll never see a champion. That's I'm like, yeah. yeah. And do you know how many people from New York won rings? Yeah, <laughs> already. Yeah, like Jer yeah. Jeremy Lin won a ring. He did. Yeah, I think with yeah. the Raptors. Really? Yeah. Man, nope. Nobody in New York felt like they want the Knicks won with no, that one. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. I'm just saying it's, that's crazy, Envy. You are absolutely crazy. You are absolutely crazy. <laughs> Envy is absolutely crazy. Was Envy at that event? How was he not there? No, nah, no, nah, he wasn't there. You guys aren't allowed to go. No, nah, I wouldn't have gone no way just because you know. Because you're not the way vaccinated. COVID is set up. You know, yeah. you about to get vaccinated, bro. They make it too hard for you to not get vaccinated. Um, if, if I did get vaccinated, I would get it when it's fully FDA approved. You're gonna get it if you want to eat out or go to work. That's what's gonna happen. I don't want to go nowhere in New York. But what you work? You know in New why York. I don't want to go anywhere nowhere in New York? Because I saw that versus last night. That element's still out there. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> right. That COVID even worse though. <laughs> that element is still out there. Okay, I'm cool. What if iHeart makes you? What if they say it's mandatory for any workers to come into the studio? I got a studio built at the crib. Wow, you're gonna go remote? Yeah. I'm not doing nothing until I'm comfortable doing it. And I think that we got to stop pushing people down. to do that. I understand, but you, people still got to be comfortable. And by the way, it's, it's, the, it's the CDC's fault. It's the media's fault. It's so much false information. Like They keep blaming the internet. Like The CDC doesn't change their mind every fucking two days about some shit. So it's like, yo, you can't be mad at people for not being comfortable. And I think, I think yeah. you know, people waiting until it's fully FDA approved. I think that's a very logical and reasonable reason to not get vaccinated. Yet. That's much me, better than it's going to be a microchip put inside you. Mm. Or if I get vaccinated, it's going I'm going to turn into Magneto. You know what I mean? Too many people I knew that got the vaccine is actually sick right now. So I'm like, ah, just give me a little bit more. 
I mean, that don't mean anything. I mean, I get that, but vaccines are not a cure. So, I mean, I'm not, you know, that's not. At least I didn't think they got to fucking get the girl pregnant. You know what I'm saying? It's what? Supposed, it's, I understand. It's supposed to be a condom, right? I understand the skepticism. <laughs> on his, the vaccine's his, supposed to the vaccine's exactly. supposed to you protect gonna, you yeah. from not getting it. You see what I'm saying? So why the girl's It's a condom pregnant? for Corona. Ah, yeah. Vaccine is birth control. The mask is the condom, bro. Whatever. Either one. Man, yes. You can still get an STD if you don't wear the condom. Yeah, I guess. Mm. If a girl tells you she's on birth control, you still put the condom on. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> and you know what the CDC told us to do? Take the condom off. That's what it's okay I, to I start raw dogging air again because everybody's it. on the pill. And it feels great. Yeah. It's not cool. <laughs> and I think know, everybody needs to get back That's what I'm saying. It's bullshit because talk. people still getting pregnant. Yeah. I'm not going to say it's bullshit. I'm just going to say everybody needs to stop putting out information every two days. When y'all finally figure out what the fuck's going on in a real way, yeah. then you have briefings. Stop trying to brief people every other day and then you wonder why people are confused and misinformed. Yeah. yeah. I don't yeah. even know if we're confused or misinformed. Yeah. Like The only shit we really need to know is if motherfuckers are dying. If the death rate doesn't increase, then don't tell us nothing. Like, if more people get it, all right, they get it. This is life. You're going to get the flu. You're going to get COVID. This is how we live now. It's just part of who we are. But if they start dying at a higher rate and filling up these hospitals again, then tell us so we can fucking know. I could, yeah, I, I agree with that. You know what's so interesting about the media? Like, right now, they say, uh, uh, what they say? I don't know what the number is now, but over the weekend, it was like 120,000 plus people who were vaccinated still caught COVID, right? So yep. they said that's yeah. like 0.8% of the people who were vaccinated because like 120 something million people got vaccinated. And I'm like, that. okay, but you can do that with anything. Yeah. You can say 600,000 people that died of COVID. That's only a 0. point something percent of 340 million. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm just like, why do they put things in the context, put things in context when they want to put it in context? Yeah. You switch yeah. the statistics to make it work for your yeah. every yeah, that's single it. time. That's why the only statistic that matters to me is death. Is the death rate going up? Yes. Okay. Let's take this seriously. Let's right. do something. If his death rate is not going up, why are we really changing any sick, policy? Though? Who really want to get sick? Like, yo, that? you're going to get sick as life, bro. You're going to have to sniffle sometimes. You're going to have to stay uh, home. The they it can, it about can kill you. Shit, but this shit right here. If the death you rate up. isn't going yeah, 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 up, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? If well, basically what's happened now is you get it and you have a vaccine, so you can fight it more, or you get it and we know how to treat it much better. We know how to give yeah. people what they have to do to make sure that they stay healthy. All right. If the death rate's not going up, do not change my lifestyle at all. I don't like it. I, mean, I, I agree with you, but it's like, yo, even, I don't know what this number is either, but the last time it was, uh, it was close to 6,000 people who were fully vaccinated still died of COVID, right? And they're like, oh, but that's such a small, small percentage. Nah, Stop doing that. Nah, nah, 6,000 people is 6,000 people. people. Those people were, had like extreme comorbidities. Of they course. Had like, so it's like, don't say 6,000 people are vaccinated. Say 6,000 people that were like on the brink of death already <laughs> because of their like other shit wow. just happened to get the vaccine and then they were out of here. But to that like, point shows, people said the same thing last year. They yeah. said it, the people that were dying were people who, you know, had other uh, other ailments. Issues, yeah. You know what I mean? Other issues. Th this is this is what, what the difference, right? It's like um, tree kills a uh, father of two, right? Yeah. Or father of two drove motorcycle into a tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did the tree kill the father of two yeah. or did driving the motorcycle into it kill him? Like All I'm saying is death should be looked upon as death. 600,000 people dying is a lot. A whole lot. You know what I mean? Like stop, I don't hate when people break it down into percentages because they only do that to push their narrative. So what, because, because if somebody does that about police brutality, Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. Which which a lot of conservatives like to do. Be like, oh, it's it's only 0.0% of people who get killed by police. No, people getting killed by police Period. is wrong. I mean, at least they're consistent. They're saying yeah. it's only 0.0 getting killed by corona, only 0.0 getting yeah, killed yeah. by police. So we shouldn't yeah. give a fuck about both. Yeah. The, basically, conservatives are saying if it's not a healthy percentage of people, it's okay. Yes. If they die, which is Callous. Fuck we want to save every single life. That being said, yeah, yeah. do you develop public policy based on what percentage of people? Is it 1%? Like, how many? What is the percentage of people that we start changing everybody's life for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. You know, like, I, I've often looked at, like, disabled people. We were talking about this before, and I'm just like, all right. Every store you have to have, if you do a new store, you build a store, you got to have a ramp for someone in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. You got to have a bathroom that's big enough mm -hmm. for wheelchair access, all this other stuff. The amount of people you see in wheelchairs is almost zero. Like, I almost never see people in wheelchairs. Yeah. Like, ever in life. I, I Very rarely, right? That's not true. I, I rarely it's see... It's not it. zero, but yeah. It I all get depends on where you live. Yeah, yeah, my yeah, last but, building had wheelchairs all day. Exactly. If you live around old people, obviously, you're going to yeah, see yeah, it, yeah, et cetera. Yeah, yeah. But, Amazing. like, I guess what I'm saying is, like, 
I get what you're saying. It's like the, yeah, every building saying. ever made from now on has to accommodate this Ram. very small percentage of people. Well, I think it's not because it's not just handicapped people. It's the elderly, too. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm not against yeah. it, but yeah. I'm saying yeah. here's an example of how we have like public policy that's catered towards a very small percentage of people. Mm-hmm. So you could look at Corona the same way. Yes, a very small percentage of people are going to be affected by this and maybe die, but- Maybe in the same way with disabled people, we just create public policy to look out for them. Yeah. All right, so what type of percentage you think is going to need for them to t- shut the um, city down again? Or the country? I mean, not shutting the city I, down I think it will only get shut down if death rates and hospitals are rammed. Second hospitals are rammed, they shutting that shit down. I don't think so, bro. I think this, I think this is going to be like swine flu in 09. And what I mean by that is uh, swine flu infected, what, 62 million people? It was a quarter million hospitalizations, 12,000 deaths. I didn't even know swine flu was out there like that. I didn't even, even know what the symptoms are. <laughs> you know what I probably mean? had. I probably you know had. Mean? It, bro. Yeah. Obama administration didn't shut down things. I don't think they're gonna do that now either. I just don't. I don't think so. I don't think the economy can take it. I don't know. It depends. I don't see it, bro. I I don't see it. I don't want them to because I got that shit on my arm. And you got that tour. And I got that tour, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Infamous tour. Let's tell, let's let's tell the go. truth. Let's tell the truth. That's what. That's how you get people concerned again. Because I'm mm-hmm. even last week. I'm listening and money. I'm hearing the numbers. Okay, 125 thousand people that's vaccinated got it. This many people died. All right, all right. But are they locking the city down though? That's what you want. That's what people really want to know. It. Are they locking this country down that's again? Yeah, and I don't want people masked up at shows and shit like that. I don't want to see people laughing, bro. I want to see them enjoying themselves, like. Imagine as a comedian and all you see is eyeballs. Can you imagine last night at Versus if everybody had masks on in that oh, environment? Bro. My yeah. God. There would definitely be some yeah, deaths. My There'd be God. some stabbings. Like my you have God. perfect, you have my the perfect God. getaway, you have the perfect alibi. You're like, I wasn't there. God. Amazing. Yeah. My God. Yeah. Um, but yeah, get vaccinated. New York uh shut everything down. You can't, you can't, you can't go in no restaurants, no I think they did that just for Broadway, to be honest with you. Personally. I think this I think all, everything they're doing now. It's just because they're bringing Broadway Talk back. Talk to me about that. I just think it's because it's all for Broadway. You know what I mean? Like, we want to get everybody vaccinated, get everybody used to, yeah. you know, if you, you can't come in no venue without no vaccination, but I really think it's to get Broadway back popping. That's an interesting theory. My theory was um, this is just a push from, like, big pharma, these pharmaceutical companies. Mm-hmm. They basically, I think everything is pushing towards that. So they're basically like, look, we need to have as many people vaccinated as possible. One, we just raised the prices of our vaccines. These motherfuckers are such scumbags. They know that this policy is about to come out mm-hmm. where they're basically taking uh-huh. away your ability to live life, like your ability to go out to have a meal, your ability to go shop, your ability yes. to go into stores, and your ability to go to your job, right? Like, my girl yeah, can't yeah. go to her job without a mask, and if she's vaccinated, so at her desk, she can sit at the desk, right? But she doesn't go work on the campus, but where it is, she would have to do that, right? The pharmaceutical companies notice. They jack up the prices of the fucking uh, of the vaccine because they know the policy is about to come out. And now people are going to go, well, shit, I might as well get it now so I can go out to eat. I might as well get it now so yeah. I can go to work. I might as well yeah. get it now because I know the kids they're in smart. order to go to school. Right now they're saying, I think in New York between 12 and 17, you have to, if you're a kid between 12 and 17, yeah. in order to go to school, you got to get the vaccine. So now you're going to make all the kids get vaccinated and you pump the price up right before. That's like crazy. you're yeah. dealing with crazy scumbags. So they're basically going, all right, boom, you get the vaccine. And the more people have the vaccine, the more people we can sell boosters to. Mm-hmm. Oh, next year, it could be even crazier one. Why don't we give you this little re-up, right? We'll give you this booster that makes your vaccine even stronger you. inside you. And yeah. then you just do that every winter and you'll be good. It's going to be hard to get people. Faster. To... Die a little faster. I don't know if it's going to make die you die. a little faster. I don't think it's the right it's, stuff. It's going to be hard to get a booster in people's arms, especially if the first two shots aren't working. <laughs> that, right? Why would I trust you? Like, Why would I get a third? Well, a lot of people don't get it. Just like they ran and got this one. Mm-hmm. Like I said, FDA approved. You know what I mean? Once it gets fully FDA approved, I might fuck with it. I mean, it will be years before it's FDA approved. I think, ah, you, should, I think you should do it because they gave it, got approved it in months. Bro, they gave it to white people. I, I think they're like- I keep thinking that too, right? Yeah, you're mm-hmm. not going to experiment on whites. Yeah. If you give it to whites, <laughs> right, you know that it's going to be good. I can totally understand if the government came out, they're like, okay, Mexicans, blacks, we'd like you to take this vaccine. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. do that shit. Yeah. But if you go yeah. right to rich whites and you see them getting jabbed up with it, yeah, it's probably going to be fine. And it, I, you know what's so interesting about what you said? When the vaccine first rolled out, I remember somebody, I forgot who told me that they were in Philly. And they went to like the hood to get the vaccine, but it was like mad white people lined up in the hood to go get the vaccine because that was the place that was available yeah. to get it. it and well, I was there like, was just wow. no lines in the hood. 
Wow. Yeah. That's all. Listen, I've been said it. Go first. I just want to see who goes We're first. We're first. We're there. That's it. That's it. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not an anti-vaxxer at all. You know what I mean? I just want to make but sure. Is, did, do you feel any different? Like nothing changed? What changed is I don't walk around fearing COVID. I never was Why? afraid you know of Corona. Got it, though. With, and, and, got it and you had it. I had it already. Peace. And I wasn't afraid of it. But like, there's still that shit in the back of your mind. I don't know if you guys felt this way where it's like, Man, I do know people who have died of this. That's how I feel right now. Exactly. So yeah. don't you want to alleviate that stress? Yeah. Like, just get the fucking jab. And, I, and and for some reason, it feels like over the past few weeks, I know a lot of people who got it. Me too. That's like people saying. that I actually no, like know know. Like closer. I mean, I knew people that I knew last year, but like people that I know know like closer, oh shit, closer, yeah. And they got it, got it, and they boy. got it. Sick. That's fucked up. Yeah, yeah. I, I know somebody who got one shot. They just got the shot and caught COVID, and they sick, sick. You know what I mean? So I'm not, like I said, I'm not an anti-vaxxer at all, but, you know. You'll figure it out. Do your thing. I just don't like the idea of, like, bullying people. I don't like it either. Like, you, like, let, hey, people, let people got to do things at their comfort level. 100%. You know what I mean? You can't, you can't say, suck it. Yo, it's so funny. Suck it or not. Suck it or to not. Get the bro. shot or not. Like, what happened to, it's just so funny because, like, you see Democrats really pushing the vaccine, right? Mm -hmm. The liberals are really pushing vaccine, right? But they're also the exact same people that would say, uh, my body, my choice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And like, right? I, now you gotta do it. <laughs> but, now you gotta suck it for real. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucked up. Right? Isn't it a little hypocritical, Not right? Me, man. The fuck? <laughs> yo, <laughs> yo. The way you, wild. the way you made eye contact with Schultz and no, said that just. Nah, nah you did was, make eye contact with him. Bro. Bro. Real, yo. You did make crazy eye like, contact. I mean, crazy eye contact. Real talk. Like, nah, yo, you play suck that. It. Play that camera on song. Hey, you gonna suck it or not? You know what I mean? Uh. Um, Do you guys know another word in that song? No, another lyric? My dick hard than a motherfucker. motherfucker. You don't what? Tell that shit to, to another, another sucker. sucker. Oh, man, that's Cam. Don't act like Cam not a goat out here, okay? <laughs> 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 oh, okay, what else we got? He loves getting head, huh? To make a song like Yo, that, sorry, like all his songs about getting head. Like I just, I just thought of other lyrics, like because she licked my balls right after play ball. No watch them, no nothing. Here what I say, y'all. Okay, y'all. We can't act like oral. I turn the baddest bitches gay, y'all. We can't act like oral sex is not a big part of our lives. It's great. But imagine great how joy. bad your dick stink to make the baddest bitches gay. <laughs> no, that's not why she went. She su she because she licked my balls right after, after I play ball. ball. No, watch them. No, nothing. Hear what I say, y'all? Okay, y'all. Uh, act like uh, act like Saint J, y'all. I turn the baddest bitches gay, y'all. Huh? Son, Cam's a wild boy. I think he might have switched storylines. <laughs> Did I add two different ones? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> this is preposterous. <laughs> So good, I loved though. watching them last night update their slang too, though. Because I mean, there's just certain things that they could say back then that they clearly can't say now. So you know, a gay slur might have flew early on. You know what I mean? But then they adjusted <laughs> in later rounds and replaced the gay slur with other. This words. guy's a jerk. Yes, <laughs> Jade, Jade actually said "sucker." He said "sucker" uh, for one of the gay slurs, and even the word the, the bitch B word. That's a little harsh. What bitch? That's what I'm yeah. saying. And it's not, yo, you don't realize that's, how That's hard. a fighting word. Certain things is fighting words. Certain things you yes, can say. Yes, man. Yo, you don't realize how my hard. Dick bitches, you fight, we fight it. But I like, I like calling someone a bitch. It's fun. Yeah, uh, but they let that. Yeah. They, they, this, they, it was so, so bad last night because he goes, they don't, first, uh, Joel's goes, they don't like girls. <laughs> no. They don't like girls. <laughs> no. I don't think y'all like girls. And then Jada and Technician. <laughs> And Locks just went into a flurry of like they're, they're, they're more female friendly records, right? Oh. And then she goes, They say we don't like bitches. And then, he, <laughs> and, then he, and, then he, and then he caught himself and he goes, They say we don't like the ladies. They say we don't like the ladies. You know what I mean? That's right. Be aware of 2021, goddammit. Bro. Okay? Because Cancel terrible. 19 is out here too. It's all kind of variants of that shit. Yeah. All right? <laughs> it's all kind of variants yeah. of Cancel 19. Don't sleep and on that, Cancel 19, okay? So they say we don't like bitches. That is hysterical. <laughs> that is hysterical. <laughs> Who's a bitch? Yo. Audible cheek. <laughs> Yo, what proof y'all got that we don't like these bitches? Oh, that shit sounds that harsh, yeah. bro. And you don't realize that till you see it. And you're like, God, God damn. damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> shit. That shit talking to somebody's mama. Bro. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Talking about liking bitches, Blue Chew <laughs> is the sponsor of this episode of the podcast. <laughs> and if, and if you like the ladies, you want to make sure that they are satisfied. And the way you do that is by delivering the hardest dick that you possibly can. And Blue Chew is going to be right there for you, man. Same active ingredient. It's inside Seattle or Viagra, but this is the Chew. It's the one that we rock with. It's the one that we make sure that the ladies are satisfied with. And it's the one you're going to use to make sure your lady, your side chick, or the girl you haven't even slept with just yet, but you want to leave a lasting first impression, is going to be satisfied with. And this is how, you, how you're going to get it, okay? You're going to get it, one, for absolutely free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. When you go to bluechew.com, you're going to do it at bluechew.com and use the promo code IDIOTS, you're going to receive your first month free. All you got to do is pay $5 shipping. Remember that promo code is IDIOTS. Bluechew.com, best dick of your life. Deliver it. Let's get back to the show. You want to let's do one more, man. Since man, we're here, since we're here, since it. we're here in bill paying mode, let's, let's go to do it. let's go to cushy dreams. I love cushy. Okay, dreams. the world today is nuts, and just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and, and uncomfortable, like the Delta variant. Okay, and that's where our friends at Cushy Dreams can help. Cushy Dreams specializes in high quality smokable CBD, and CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief, and more. And smoking CBD gets it into your system right away, so you don't have to wait for the effects. All right, Cushy Dreams extraordinary CBD rich hemp flower comes in an eighth. All right, eight ounce cans and pre rolled joints. It is cannabis that ships discreetly to you and directly to all 50 states. They offer indigo and sativa strains that deliver effects like relax, create, hustle, peace, energy, and dream. Okay, I personally like CBD. Uh, I, I, I don't want to get to the point where I need some type of cannabis to help me sleep. But boy, does it. It is okay? so nice. It just does, all right? Whether you want to smoke beautiful butter pre-rolls, Cushy Dreams has you covered. Their popular pre-roll joints are rolled in organic hemp paper and feature an even slow burn. And pre-rolls are now available in five packs. With Cushy Dreams, experience the therapeutic benefits of CBD with full flower spectrum and full flavor. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies and want to smoke your cbd and now you can enjoy all of the benefits of cannabis without getting high go to cushydreams.com that's k-u-s-h-y dreams.com at checkout use promo code idiots for 20 percent off your next order smoke your cbd with promo code idiots and get 20 percent off today now let's get back to the show do we have some church announcements show C? the announcements are a very important part of what we do in church. TheAndrewSchultz.com The infamous tour. We're in Charlotte this weekend. Hey! Uh, then we're in Dallas, Houston. Those are sold out. Uh, we're coming out to Tucson, LA. Those are sold out. There might be a couple single seats uh, left, I'm but excited. go check those out. But yeah, we're going to be out there in Detroit, Austin. We're filming the special. Again, the LA shows. I'll see you guys in LA. Just as important to notice that we had to move the shows to Austin because I didn't trust LA. Uh, you know, with their fucking COVID rules and shit. So we are we are doing the shows in LA, but we're filming the special in Austin, Texas. Uh, we added a fourth show in Austin, Texas. You might be able to get some tickets for that fourth show if you go now. And then uh, Detroit, Milwaukee. We added shows in Chicago, San Francisco, DC. Go get them. TheAndrewShows.com. Get them now before they are gone. Get them now before they are gone. Waxy, you got some uh, yes, sir. church announcements? Uh, get my uh, who's waxing all the dispensaries in LA. Uh, should be like 36 now. I'm re up. Hey. I got my new bags dropping next week, so make sure y'all go get that. I got the lemonades, whoswax.net. Go holla at that. I got the gummies. Yeah, this uh, cannabis world is really doing good. You know what I'm saying? I got the Who's Wax gummies, so y'all go check that out. And all that's on uh, whoswax.net. And also the Who's Wax paintball. Y'all get your teams. They get your teams together, 10 on 10. Y'all come holler at me. You man. was working on that this weekend, I, I heard. Was working. I was out there. How'd your brother out I heard there? You and your brother got, you and your brother got, a fist, got into a fist fight. Uh, he wasn't throwing no punches. You don't throw punches at you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> you what you happened? My what little happened? brother, my little brother BJ, my mom, so I'm talking to my mom. My mom was like, Wax and his brother was fighting. I'm like, what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no. My, 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 child? Yeah, child. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, everybody's not on the same page, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you try to get people on the same page. Sometimes you got to be, you know. So what happened? My brother told my mom he was like, they just they just started fighting real hard for like ten seconds and then just stopped and went back to work. Like it was right back to work. <laughs> <laughs> nah, explain it to me. So what happened? I just it's no. You got to talk to your younger brother and got to get him to understand. Like try to get him on the same page. Like yo, nobody should be comfortable. You need to if you need a little bit more boost, I give you some boost. All right. 
You know what I'm saying? That's all it is. What does that mean? Boost. You gonna suck it or not? No, it's not. <laughs> suck Whoa! Or not. What? Uh, Whoa! I, I, I listen, so whatever, Whoa. whatever motivation. What? Damn, sure not that. Yeah, right. Yeah. If we gotta fight and do whatever we gotta show. do, so much, just, huh? just to get some motivation, oh. get you, get you. Because you know he licked my balls right it. after I paintball. You gotta do it. <laughs> <laughs> to relax. I don't man. mean that literally. Like, suck it or not is a good motivational thing. Nah, suck not it, it or don't not. mean it don't mean mean nah, literally. You gonna suck it? It's just like yo, you gonna. Suck it or not, bro. I'm using that at yeah. Show Studios, right? Now. No, hey, no, 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 no. Go out there. Well, also, we got Bullying the Beast every Wednesday on Monday, Patreon, yeah. all that, and all that. But yeah, I, we'll talk about that after you do your church announcement. But yeah, it's definitely, you know, family. Sometimes you got to, when you don't see something, you're the older brother, you got to try to get some type of spark and something. You got to stop just putting hands on people when you don't like something, though. Bro. Nah, I mean, you just got to try to provoke a little bit. No, you know why, try, have you tried using your words? I don't know how to talk. <laughs> I, that, that, that's never been good. He's he not wrong though. Like not, that, that never not. been good for it's me. Good to you know, know your saying? flaws. Yes, yes. Because yeah. I do a lot of things through actions. You know what I'm saying? So, so somebody, everybody see everything that I'm doing is like, yeah, I pick up. Especially going to benefit everybody. Everybody just sitting around like just watching me do everything, and then y'all going to benefit too. Nah, fuck that. Nah, we gotta make something happen real quick. And it's a boy. It's cool. The girls get away with everything, but boys. Yeah. Oh, nah. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you, so you got. Think, suck, so you it. Think, suck it or word suck it. up. Beating them up nah. is motivation. Boy. Nah, it's not even about <laughs> that. It's not even about beating them up. It's just like, yo, just joking up. Did you up beat him up, though? Yeah. yeah was, you know what I'm saying? We just getting it in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Did he swing? Did, no, we don't swing. I mean, oh, what's the, the thing game? is, we, I just try not to, I can't hurt nobody. Just, you know, no certain You can't thing. hurt your brother. You don't want to do that. Not the, not him. So what's the game? Is it like wrestling? Nah, it's like all. Yes, it's wrestling, but you don't dislocate and you don't break and you don't do certain things. You know what I'm saying? So I need to talk to Chow. Wrestling and I think Chow, I, I wanna... Wait, y'all were mud wrestling? No, definitely wasn't. What were you wearing? Was it topless or was <laughs> it? <laughs> Chow, Chow's gotten stronger, right? Yeah, he got strong. He both strong. Chow, Chow, Chow was like, this ain't young wax. Yeah. <laughs> Chow, Chow, you know how fighters wait till a fighter get older? Yeah, yeah. Chow's he's, gonna wait till you about 39, 40. Yeah. <laughs> that's how old, why, that's how old why, Chow that's be? Why, that's why when I'm, you 39, 40. He Achilles all fucked up. Three years younger than yeah, you. Listen, yeah, listen, like I said, I'm still big bro. Really? Exactly. Wait till you get about 40. Yeah, when you're 40. Right there. Yeah, listen, it happened with me and my <laughs> oldest brother. We Everybody gets it in. It's just what it is. What happened with you and your oldest brother? What happened? You fuck Ike up? Nah, we just, everybody, like I said, when brothers, you, you know what I'm saying? It's not what we be able to do with somebody on the street. If somebody on the street is like, I'm going to break you up really bad. But this is... Just, it's brotherly love. Yeah. But why is it whenever we uh, fight out there, you always try to swing on me? You no, never because, wrestle I me. Mean, I never do. I ever hit you, though. Yeah, but if 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 we were to wrestle, I would fuck you up. <laughs> if it was just wrestle, if it was no. just wrestling. I think wrestling is the way guys like show affection. That's how I would do no, it. Yeah, it, is, it, is, it, is. it is. It is. It's a way to hug up on a dude I and like mean, piggyback. You, no, I, I like touch that, him intimately. Without, intimately like, like, yeah, yeah, I'll be yeah, on your yeah, back. Yeah, backpack. A lot of, a lot of me and my grunting, family the sweating, do that, a lot of pheromones going. Yeah, yeah. Nah, you're bugging. But a yeah, lot of me and my boys, when we do see each other, we be like. Let's yeah, wrestle. Let's good. No, let's go. Like, Yo, let's what you wrestle. got? You good? <laughs> that's it. No, let's wrestle. You still got it. That's, that's like, it. Let me yeah. see what's up. But we might just know. Like, Bro, Yo, just bump. Good. Wrestling is the a booty hole yeah. or something. Nah, it's not like that. Wait, wait, making what? sure you still on point. That's it. Nah, wrestling is the way thugs say suck it and not without saying exactly. suck it and not. Exactly. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Tickle that's each all. other. You tickle. You ever? You and your boys just tickle all night? Like that shit. Yo, by the way, wrestling is real intimate, yo. Yeah, but then tickling, bro, it's like you ever just with your boys at a slumber party? And you were like, yo, we gonna tickle that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if he took me, I'm gonna show you somebody. I'm gonna show you something. <laughs> well, that's the point. Yo, that's yo, the tickling. whole point. He's yo, tickling yo. you because he wants you to show him something. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yo, get the feather out my drawer. <laughs> <laughs> We going to tickle this That's why everybody always, that's yeah. why all my people I know on point. Huh? If any of my people I heard somebody got beat up or something, I'm over here like, what the fuck you got going on? Yup. Yeah, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, Roll yo, y'all not wrestling, y'all not doing nothing around the house. Y'all not showing no. affection. Not no. showing enough even love. Me, if, even if, like, if I hear that shows got beat up, I'd be like, yo, we, we box enough. Like, you already go against me. You yeah. not wrestling you them, shit. bro. You got to put that weight enough. on them, bro. Put when that weight on them. When did we tickle, bro? When did we tickle, bro? When did you get up in the ribs? But if somebody swings on you, I check you to know how to at least, you know, protect you. The day when y'all slap box, when y'all when y'all show y'all affection, yeah, yeah, yeah. grab them and wrestle them. Yeah. And when you feel yourself going down, down just right here, right here, right here, right here. Make them do that giggle. Make them do 
I'm not gonna let you get that close. Say what? I'm not gonna let you get that. But it's not up to you, man. I'm gonna get that close, bro. I'm gonna get up in them ribs, bro. I'm gonna grab your quads. I'm gonna grab right here and squeeze like that. That's right. Like that. You gonna giggle or not when he tickle you? Giggle or not? Giggle or not? You gonna giggle or not? That's what it is, bro. Listen, shallow waters. Is out right now. Uh, All right, Anita Kopax, Shallow Waters, man. Now, is I met it her. called I met her. Shallow Waters? It's definitely Shallow Waters because number one seller, number one seller, <laughs> no, no, number one bestseller on Amazon in audio book. Um, her sister Michelle Kopax uh, reads it. Salute to Michelle. And um, yeah, man, I'm just really proud of the reception of this. Like I'm telling you, there's nothing that gives me more of a thrill than uh putting out books, you know what I mean? Having books released on my book imprint because these are people's stories that they've been, you know, waiting years to deliver to people, man. And Anita, this is a this is definitely a labor of love. So thank you to everybody that's been going out there to buy Shallow Waters. Yeah. I'm there. Congrats to success. Second, second book off Black Privilege Publishing. Congrats on that uh, success, man. Go that grab is, that. And that make sure beautiful. you log on to um, blackeffect.com as well and subscribe to all the podcasts that we have on Black Effect. Is it? Is it uh is it weird that the black mermaid is in shallow waters? Is she not as good at swimming? Or? <laughs> well, that's not that's uh that's not that's not a uh, that's not a literal title. Oh, okay, mm-hmm. okay. I'm just saying. That's not a literal title. But there is some racism. But it's a great book. People love it, man. I mean, it's it's a really good uh fiction novel about Mer- uh Yimmy Ya. Yimmy Ya. You know, if you heard if you saw Anita on Breakfast Club this week, you heard her talk yeah, about uh Love Jones, when Darius Lovehall mentioned Yimmy Ya in his poem, Are You My Yimmy Ya? Mm-hmm. And, you know, Beyonce mentioned Yimmy Ya on Black Parade. Mm. And it's just a good read. You know, Malcolm Gladwell did three podcasts about The Little Mermaid. Wow. Which I refused to listen to. How many did he do about uh, Yimmy Ya? None. But that's why I gave him Shallow Waters yesterday. Sell it. And I told him, and I, I put, no, but I, I put that guilt on him. I said, yo. Put that on him. Son. I said, yo, you did a whole podcast. You did three podcasts about Ariel, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro. You should, do, you should read this book about a black mermaid. That's and he's you supposedly do. Jamaican, bro. That's you don't think I'm they saying. got a few mermaids out there? Wagwan, yeah, Red Wagwan. Mermaids bathe on the rocks in Jamaica. Mm. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I was I was excited to see her though. It's like I hear about her so much, and I was like, "Oh, that's the lady with the book." Yeah, Nita Kopech. And I was like, "Hi," I, said, I was like, "Hey, um, you you the mermaid?" She was like, "Yeah, I'm the mermaid." She just said she was the yeah, mermaid. She said she was the mermaid. Yeah, wow. yeah, I can see why you don't talk much. I don't. I don't know what the hell to say. What else do we say about the thing on here? Just That's a good point. Congratulations, maybe. Congratulations. Like, that you could work. say on the book. It was really like she was like yeah. So it's cool. You could ask some questions about the book. For what? Listen, can we know. can we can we respectfully, um, just briefly talk about Governor Cuomo in the hearing? <laughs> I don't know if claims. I'll be capable of talking about him respectfully. This, no, this, this, I would fight him for charity. I'd fight his brother I have one simple for charity. Question. I have one simple question. Yeah. One simple question. Yeah. How many old people did he kill? No, listen, when you that that's 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 a valid question too. But when you have Donald Trump who's been accused of, you know, sexual harassment and you know, whatever else, when you have Joe Biden who's been accused of sexual harassment and whatever else, and you know, neither one of them stepped down. What's the standard? Like, what is Governor Cuomo supposed to do? The percentage. I mean, what's yeah. the standard? That's all I want to know. Like, what's I the know, standard? I mean, like, my, my feeling is like, it's innocent until proven guilty. Like, we all know that they're- Well, they did an investigation. But they're not proven guilty yet. Investigation just decides whether they're going to try him. No, I thought the investigation was to prove whether the, the, right. the uh, claims were credible. Even if they believe the, cra- the claims are credible, he still has to go through the justice yeah, system, absolutely. right? Like he's, he's not he's charged with anything, court. though. Well, if he's not charged with anything, then he's good to go. They, I think they're deciding whether they're going to charge him or not. But, many, they, but I'm, I'm saying because they're asking him to step down. Like Joe Biden asked him to step down. Joe Biden said he should resign. And if I remember correctly, I think, uh, you know, there was some people asking Joe Biden to step out of the race when he was going through his thing. I just, I just want to know what's the, what's the standard? Don't ever. Don't nah. ever. Because once you step down, you're admitting guilt. Guilty, now, yeah. that being said... He could be guilty. He is a fucking piece of shit. Like, he's not only a piece of shit for killing all the old people, he's a piece of shit for writing a book about how great a job he was doing with uh, COVID. But don't you don't step down unless, if you believe that you're innocent. I just want to know what's the standard. And when you see Governor Cuomo not stepping God, down, how can you blame him when, they, when nobody else has? I just want to know what's the standard. The standard is, and I cannot believe I'm actually defending Cuomo here. The standard is if you know in your heart that you didn't do anything wrong, then you fight for your freedom. Yeah. Fuck that. You step down, that's who you are forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. that's like that motherfucker Al Franken. 
You know that guy, yeah, Al, Franken? Al Franken? I saw him at the comedy club the other night. Did he step down or did they force him out? Say what? Did he step down or did they force him out? a little bit of both, but like, from, from I can't look at that motherfucker without seeing him in that way. Yeah. yeah. I just couldn't, bro. He was on stage just doing jokes and everybody in the audience looking at him like, bro, aren't you that fucking creep that took pictures of that girl while she was sleeping? Aaron Andrews yeah. or whatever like that, the reporter right. chick. Yeah. So it's just like, nah, I mean, you fight for your freedom, bro. You fight for your freedom. I just yeah. want to know what's the standard, that's all. And that's that, that's my, my, it's a simple question. You know, y'all can. Innocent till proven guilty is the standard. Yeah. Innocent till proven guilty. I mean, guilty. yo, you're right. 100%, yeah. but not in for this area. It yeah, should be though. It should be. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. On, it dude. should be. It definitely should be. Um, can we respectfully? <laughs> yes, respectfully. Talk about the baby. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Thoughts. I'll suck some guy's dick in a parking lot. Okay. <laughs> That's the best you got. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. That's your choice. <laughs> That's your choice. <laughs> That's your choice. No. Okay. Um, I think now it's just momentum. He's caught in an avalanche. So like cancelization is an avalanche, right? Okay. So once one pu- once one company does it, the other companies have to follow suit mm-hmm. or they look like they're supporting it. Yeah, 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 so yeah, everybody's yeah. playing chicken. They're like, all right, they're going to really cancel this motherfucker or not? Because none of these companies want to cancel. Really, no way. Nobody yeah. wants to do it, right? They're like, now we got to book another it's artist. It's a business decision. Yeah. It's a business decision. But once one does, every other one has to. Like once Lollapalooza does, Governor's Ball has to. Otherwise, Governor's Ball looks like the one that's supporting the guy who said the yeah, homophobic yeah. stuff. Yeah. So all these festivals are complete hypocrites, right? They have plenty of artists that are on those uh, stages that are saying homophobic shit. They're saying sons of misogynistic shit, hateful shit, like tons of horrible things. Violence, Violence. celebration of drugs. Yeah, like using they it know it's bad. They, not only celebration drugs, like they are there so people can do drugs. Just ain't no outrage. The festivals are all about it. Yeah, yeah but right. I mean that's the that's that's the thing, right? It's not like the corporations care about you know you know what fuck. what's actually being said. They care about the outrage. That's of what's it. Said. Period. You know what I mean? Right. So when there's when there's outrage mm-hmm. to what's said. That's when they react. Exactly. They so, react. So, so, to, to, so to all of these artists that, you know, rap about, you know, violence or drugs or whatever else, if there was ac- actual outrage, yeah. you know, yeah. to that, then it, it would be something. That's why I'm against, uh, uh, you know, canceling somebody or making someone resign based on allegation, right? Because what that is, is it allows outrage to dictate no, you know, your future instead of justice. Like, Take away due process. Yeah, yeah like, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. bro. We cannot. Yeah. Now, I understand why these companies do it because the companies are only loyal to making money. That's these it. companies don't care about music. That's they don't care about artists. They don't care about the fans. Know who it is. Exactly. Like, if they were, they could be selling anything, right? They could be selling fucking Transformers for all they care about. Whatever people come out to, Period. they right. will sell. That's they right. can give a flying Period. fuck. That's right. There's not these like diehard indie music no, people that really care. Like, if they really knew music, they know that they're dealing with like incredibly flawed individuals that have kind of fucked up backgrounds most likely a lot of them mm-hmm. and I'm not just talking about hip hop I'm talking about all music all music that's why yeah. I don't understand how the anybody artists, can artists stand on any moral up. high ground they can't like you yeah. can, I, I just don't get it I think it's the strangest thing in the world especially when I see like street rappers right like I see a lot of like a lot of street rappers like to criticize Lil Nas X and say that Lil Nas X is a negative influence to kids like this, you care listen, about listen, yeah, this, yeah. this is what I would say to all the street artists right you can have an opinion on Lil Nas X Look, regardless of what it is, whether it's on about his music, whether it's about his lifestyle, whatever it is, but please, none of y'all utter he's a negative influence to kids. You don't have the right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you've ever rapped about violence against other people, violence against women, misogynistic lyrics, the celebration of drug culture, the use of drugs, you don't have the right to talk about anybody being a negative influence to kids. Correct. Let's not be foolish here. You can have a valid opinion, mm-hmm. but that can't be what you stand on. He's yeah. a negative influence to kids. No. Stop. Come can't on. see yourself then too. If that's, that's, how you yeah, feel. that's what I'm saying. Like, Kyle, come on, stop. Stop. Let's not do Now, that. I guess what they, they might go is like, they might say, uh, I'm not making music for kids. He made a kid's song. He made one kid song. I, even, I, I would disagree with that. He just made a song. He made a song. The yeah, kids that kids like. like. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like, yeah. we all know from watching fucking TikTok or Instagram, like you'll see a video of a kid in a fucking, uh, what is it called, like a car seat, right? Mom or dad driving, and a kid is singing along to every gangster rap lyric <laughs> that's there. It's like, of course, yeah. people are gonna have whatever. If you want to call it negative influence on kids, I was, by the way, it's not. Yeah. It's not his fault. 
He made the biggest record of all time. Yeah. If you make a record that has universal appeal, global appeal yeah. with every demographic, every gender, every sexuality, it, that's not your fault. To take my horse on? Yeah. To take, take my, my horse, horse. Yes. That's exactly <laughs> it. To take my horse on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is to take my horse on. You know what I mean? Literally that. He it described is, it, it perfectly. He, he literally took his horse to the Old Town Road. <laughs> yeah. That's not his fault. He made a record that, that slaps, that is yeah. universal appeal. So if kids like him, so what? Yeah, kids like this gangster shit too. Bro, uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with either of it, I'll be honest with you. That's like, why it's a parental advisory sticker yeah. on the fucking music. Yeah, but you see but you see what the, the music making you said you do earlier, right? You were saying yeah. the music make you do certain things, make you want to stab somebody. Oh, uh, okay. I, I'm listen, I'm just telling you, slow down. I think, slow down, slow I down. I think no, no. Listen, I think slow down. It would make you want to take a horse to the old town road. No, I'm just saying, not 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 <laughs> I that don't think song it would make, or I don't whatever think else they're lyric. talking about. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. If yeah. a father don't want that, he'll say, I don't want my kid to do that. My right. my, my son my, my son don't want the guy that's shooting. He won't let him listen to that song. Let me tell you right. something. And I could be totally wrong here. I'm just throwing this out there. Uh, I think whatever you are, you're going to be. So if you're if you're a sexuality, if you're if you're a gay man, you're going to be a gay man regardless of what you're but listening why you to right, but or you, what you're you don't watching. Usually want to stab if you're a nobody. You're going to be a straight man regardless of what you're listening right, to or what I'm, you're I'm watching. I'm talking about what you said. You don't want to just go around stabbing people, but that songs make you want to do that. No. So I think sexuality is totally different. I don't know why you keep How learning a those lines. How a feeling? <laughs> okay, well, let me ask you a question. A little, feeling Boosie, a little, little Boosie said that Lil Nas X be dancing in front of men and, and he knows that these little boys are trying to be straight. Have you ever tried to be straight? No, I ain't trying. Nah, I have, it sounds to me like you're trying to be straight. No, how? You trying because to put because that on if me? you're watching something and listening to something, but well, you, you think, that on but me? you think you it might me. no, no, but you think it might be the potential for you no, to no, be no, gay. No. I said again, if somebody listened to your line, what mm -hmm. you said about when you want to stab somebody, if you listen to that song, he is saying, if my son watched this, he might want to sit there and kiss a guy. No. Whatever the song is saying, sexuality is different. Ah, sexuality is different. Fulfilling is a feeling. Oh. No. no, I've never had that feeling. Have you? <laughs> oh. Have you ever had right, the feeling? So, so like I said, have you ever had the feeling? Like I said, a feeling is a feeling. I've never had the feeling. He, he, you don't. That, by the way, by what, the way, have I, I never, that, I don't not, oh, do that. Oh, not only have I never had the feeling, it could be a man in here right now dancing, and I'm still not gonna have the feeling. All right, but yeah. I, I there's understand nothing that. about it that's gonna turn that, me on. I don't get that feeling. You get the one to stab people when I listen to that song. You said Beanie Siegel and Beanie, but when I listen to Buster, that doesn't make wax, me want to stab somebody wax, from the back. Sexuality is not the same. How you know? I know it's not. I, you I, don't that, know that because you don't not. get the feeling off certain I'll say things. I say that. certain things okay. don't make me get a certain you, feeling. Oh, you watch I porn? Have. Yes, I watch. I watch porn. You watch have a guy and a girl. Dicks ever turned you on? Not one. Okay then. So, so if you can't, that's me. But that's me. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I got him. I got him. I got him in the car. Watch me get him. Watch me get him. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. I got him. I got him. We are, everybody in this room, everybody in this room watches porn. Okay. Right? So we've all, we've all watched the penis go in and out of the vagina. Have you ever looked at the penis and said, that's what I want? What? All these years wow. of watching porn. Right. Have you ever looked at the penis and said, that's what I want? No, but sometimes I'll watch it and be like, I want to see him come at least. Okay, that's I, I cool. Put, yeah. I, I put it like this. I like to see him finish. I, will get I like to see him finish. That you probably won't get attracted yeah. to. Like what? So feelings. You might see a fat ass. Some people like fake fat ass and I'd be like, I don't want that. That does nothing to me. Some of my boys be over here. Oh my gosh, are you seeing that? I'm like, that does nothing to me. So you can't tell me what turns me on or what turns you on. That's totally What that got to do with what you're talking about? You're not paying attention. Like no. I said. Right no. there, like make you want to stab you, somebody. You, slow down. You just you just gave you're another good example attention. that contradicted you're not yourself. Attention. How? If you because you can look at all of these fake asses, okay, but they don't turn you on. Okay, then, that's like not I, your thing. Okay, like I said, but the father don't know what's going to turn a young kid on. No, or not. That's why. No, they, like no. I said. No, right now you know that no. you act like that. So would you let your son listen to D Block, no. knowing to make you want to stab somebody? If he does, yeah, sure. But there's plenty of things that I've never what killed nobody fuck? with all but the music I, I listen to I that's talking about murder. Feeling. You don't. You, I've you never killed nobody. Yours, you don't know what the kid gonna control. And by the way, now not only have I never killed nobody, yeah. I never wanted to kill anybody. You just said you wanted to stab somebody. How you know they're gonna die? With a goddamn them? Jurassic Park Lego. All right, listen. How about at the this? end of the day, how about this? How about this? At the end of the day, I don't care. I'm just letting you know I that's probably what the father was saying because of what Charlotte said. But if you're trying to be straight, just say that. Problem because I, I, I know what time it is with me. I know what attract me and what don't attract me. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's like all I that said, matter. Big fat asses, that's just don't attract me. It would attract somebody so much. Yeah. That yeah. song that you would do, it wouldn't make me want to stab nobody. So my church music I listen to don't make probably not gonna okay, get the same okay, feeling okay, y'all okay, do. Okay, okay. So you played what? You played defensive end? Yes. So when you was lined up 
Uh-huh. Behind the line. Yeah. And you saw those guys bent over. With no, they right in front of me. Ass. No, it's right in front of me. No, you got, you got you the wrong. Turned on? So you got the wrong position. Me and the guy is face to face. What are you talking about? Okay, so when you're watching football on TV uh-huh. and you see those football players bent over with those big fat asses, does it ever turn you on? I told you I'm not even too, I'm excited about girls' fat asses. Why can't you just say no? This is crazy. But I'm just saying, I'm telling you no. <laughs> I, I'm not Why even I'm not it? even excited about the girls' fat asses, fake ones, so. No, I'm not. Well, she might be on to something, bro. <laughs> yeah. might, some I'm, try, like I'm trying, trying to, to hear straight, it, bro. So let me hear where you going at with this. I'm just simply saying, if you look at the fat asses on the men, are you turned on or not? And I'm not even turned on about the girls one, so no. I'm like, why? I, I think, I think I he's trying to say he's so not turned on because he wouldn't even be turned on if the fat asses were on girls. So you don't like fat asses? I mean, no, he said he one, doesn't like, like the fake ones. I don't even like the fake fat ass. Like, okay, I'm just saying. These NFL but players I'm, got real asses. Yeah. All right, listen, <laughs> I don't care about a guy's ass. I know I'm not going to be excited about Why it. Why don't you care about guys' ass? Because I'm just not attracted to it. Certain foods, I'm not attracted That's to it. That's my point. I think I, 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 I'm a person that believes being homosexual is natural. Yeah. So if you're not attracted to a guy, you're not going to be attracted to a guy. It's not in you. No, there's, no, there's nothing but that's going to make you attracted to a guy right, if you're not so you don't, you don't just walk through the town and want to stab people with a Lego. But a song made you want to do it is no, the only thing man. I'm saying. No, no way. Nah, he's, no. Yeah, he, no. he actually got All right. it. Don't wait, wait, wait. Wait. No, no, no. Listen, that don't argument is actually good. Nothing. He got a good argument. No, you know why it's not a good argument? Because I'm not serious. Oh yeah, he's joking. <laughs> what are you? Yeah. That's why Beanie it's not a good people, argument. Beanie made me want to do certain things that if I wasn't listening to that song, so you might I be a sociopath. You might be traumatized, and that's you might... why I listen to gospel to keep me where I need to and be. That's and that's good. what I'm trying to tell that's you. Good. Certain things. And by the way, why you have to go to anger management? Okay, no doubt. Right? You no had to go doubt. to anger management. No you question. had to go to Beyond Scared Straight. No doubt. You're in therapy right now, dealing with a lot of your traumas. No, I'm not in therapy for. I'm doing it for fucking for fucking premarital counseling. But just Ain't no to, fucking but nothing you got, else. You're on <laughs> your un, you're, uh, to do that. You have to discuss your flaws and her flaws, and probably deal with things that have happened in your life that you don't want to deal with. You talked about having to peel the band aid off and put the yeah. neosporin on it to clear to clean the wound. So clearly there's some most, hurt there. Mostly, mostly uh, relationship stuff. All right, where you getting at? All I'm simply saying is, Wax, you might be a little off yeah. <laughs> and you got some hurt and some trauma that you may need to deal with. That's why the music caused you to be so violent because hurt people hurt people. Yes, because you know. So it's already no. something in you. But the music Again. keeps you calm too. Like the gospel keeps that, you that's calm. Right. Exactly. That's right, that's right, that's right. And that's what I'm saying. If other music can make me be calm or make me do something else, that's why people don't want their Okay, kids well, explain gay pastors. Thing. Same, same exact things. People are like, I'm not going to go to that church. I heard about this pastor. Like, certain things you just no. don't want your kids to do. You know why do. the pastor is gay? Because he's gay. Uh, it's just I mean, that I simple. Got to do with it. Okay. Listen, <laughs> like, listen, like, I got to it's do not like that. eyes on the sparrow. You know what I mean? What Made him stronger. Gay is gay. Gospel or, or gay? Huh? Like, what's stronger? What is, what is a more compelling force of nature? Like, gospel music or, or gay activity? Like, if there was just a dick right there, like, if we played Amazing Grace, would you not be into it? Or, would, like, what would happen? No. Uh, what if the guy was naked singing Amazing Grace? That'd be too confusing. <laughs> It'd be like, yo, why? You would be so into him? No, I would not be into him. You would stare him. at him because you love that song. You would love Amazing Grace. Don't act like you don't love Amazing Grace, bro. Don't fucking sit here and lie to so us on this podcast. Be, you would love Amazing, Amazing Grace. Grace. Listen, when I hear when I when I listen to Amazing Grace, my eyes are always closed anyway. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? So that's I'm, even, it's like a that's, that's, that's even better. You see, so when you start listening, so when you start singing, I close my eyes. That's even better. That's right. That's what you're supposed that's right. to do. You get a little yes. peek at that you know, naked thing. You, you close you like, your eyes and you just say, mm, And every time you say mm, Amazing mm, Grace, it's mm, like when you close your eyes, it's like mm. God is just giving you, handing you something. He is handing you something. I just, um, <laughs> I just, I just, I just think this is a silly conversation. <laughs> and the only reason I think it's a silly conversation is because like, let people be who they are. And, and I, I think who you that. are is who you are. Like you're born that way. I really, that's me. I feel like you're born that way. I think with personally. Yeah. I think. With so there's like nothing that. that can make you that. That's why that argument is so silly to me. Yeah, I th- I I'd agree with you there. I think you're born that way. Um, I think often often what happens is like, and I I'm trying to look at like rap, at least gangster rap, in the same way I look at like jokes, which is like I say these horrible jokes and talk about these horrible topics. I don't mean them. Yeah, it's not real. Yeah. It's just something that I do for fun because it taps into a feeling that's real. I can tell you the difference though. Well, well, I think with rap, like some gangster shit, I would listen to it. As a kid, yeah. and I think, I think it, it tapped into the same feeling like when I would yeah. watch like a mafia movie or I watched like Scarface 
right? I'd be like one big difference though. Well, I, well, one big difference. I'll get to in one second. Okay. I, I think we're about to say the same thing, but like, so it's like, I want a rapper to be able to rap like that. I want him to be able to say those things because I understand they might not be true, but they're tapping into this feeling of I want to be a kingpin and I want to yeah. do all this crazy shit Still in artists. the same way that the jokes tap into a feeling that's true, even if the topic isn't or the joke. Yeah. But you were saying the difference is no, I'm just saying, the big difference is that Quentin Tarantino or uh, what's the guy name you just named Al Pacino. It's fake. Mm -hmm. it's, they're it's, saying it's, it's acting. Fake. And I rappers are selling it as yeah, this is real. real. This, is, my this life. is my life. This is what I do. They're Instagram filters. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They right. are. If it was all entertainment, if but they literally, all, but it's really an act though. People it's have an act. To know. Nah, but we don't know that. Nah, it's an act. We don't like, know that. But you have to know that. And, and by the way, now and I'm, that's a great point. Back in the day, it might have been an act. There might have been a few that are real. But what happened was all of these street dudes started getting into rap because they like them dudes is rapping about my life. I'm gonna start rapping. Yeah. rapping about stuff that I'm doing. And then when the bar, when the bar level lowered, right? Yeah. And not even when the bar level lowered, you had some guys that are really doing crime that got real talent. Mm -hmm. They decided to go out there and rap about the shit that they're actually doing. So guess what you see more of now? Mm. Rappers getting killed, yeah. rappers going to jail. Because if we knew, we knew that if they were actually doing 95% of the they shit that they actually rapping about, about they'd, they'd have been, been in jail. Up. And we see a lot of that happening. And they've been dead, all them drugs they doing. They but not that's the thing. So if you're if you're a rapper, your favorite rapper talks about all the crime that he commits and he talks about all the drugs that he deals and all the alcohol and drugs <laughs> that he takes, know he's a liar if he's, he's not in prison. Dead or because dead. Because they would be yeah, dead yeah, or in yeah, prison. Yeah, yeah. 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 Simple yeah. as that. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not gonna take away their ability to do it because I don't want them to take away mine. I want to be able yeah, to say Yeah, they artists at the end of the day man just like yeah. the wwe a lot of people yes. always still say is that real you know how I many people yeah. still think that shit is real yeah i mean at, at some point it is real like, like you, some point yeah, the rap is real from like 10 feet off of uh whatever some of them hits got to be real it's still colliding yeah you know what i'm saying yeah. but damn yeah. it's just even with the rap some of it is real yeah yeah i mean listen my, my, my thing is like i just you know i do we all know music movies all that stuff can influence you right yes. But I just don't think somebody can influence your sexuality. That's I, it. That's I think it's kind of like, it's surprised. like, you can't make me taller. Like, no matter how many... You know how many times I listened to Skilo <laughs> and wished and wished and wished and wished and didn't grow a goddamn inch? That's gay, too. Like, <laughs> who, CeeLo? Nah, like, Kilo. I wish I it don't was matter a how much Lil Nas you listen to, you're oh. not going to turn gay. It doesn't no. matter how much Kilo you listen to, you're no, not going to turn taller. I taller. get it. I, I listen. But, but I don't I care how much G unit you listen to, you're not going to turn into a gangster. Hey, 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 hey. A lot of people who did that, they changed. Yo, they be around certain people and they change. I know a lot of motherfuckers wasn't. I'm not. I, like, I, I don't cool. like. I don't like having those conversations. I don't like having these conversations when nobody from the LGBTQ community is in the, in the room. By the way, I, you know, salute to the baby man. You know, um, like I always tell y'all, <laughs> there's no such thing as free speech because there's a price to everything that comes out of your mouth. Can I, can I say why he's dumb? If you apologize the exact same way that he apologized just now, if he did that immediately, he Monday. loses nothing. But he tried to fight it, and the second he started losing all the money, now he made the real fake corporate apology. You just told everybody to stand by their word, right? Say what? You told everybody stand by their word. That's, That's what you believe. Yeah, I don't believe that. Stand by your word. You, you just not said that about the other no, thing. No, I believe in I believe in living your truth, but I don't really think that's his truth, so to say. I reserve the right to change your mind. I reserve the right to say you made a mistake. I reserve the right to apologize if I wrong somebody. Yeah, of and course. And, 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 like, this this what the baby did. This idea right? that you can't apologize is so stupid. Nah, like and nah. a lot of times even People in comedy. People get stuck you like that. Your life gets stuck That's like right. that. Yeah. When you can't apologize, your whole life is get stuck until you apologize. The baby walked into a club, right? And he bumped somebody. He didn't mean to. It was unintentional. Mm -hmm. The person turned around and mean mugged him. And instead of being like, oh, my bad, bro. I didn't mean to bump you. He said, well, what's up now? Then? Show him his gun. <laughs> so he escalated <laughs> the situation. Yeah. It didn't have to be that way. Yeah. That's all. It didn't have to be that way. So everything you see happening now, you know, that he's just paying the price for his words. But also, too, um, there was one, it's all, everything that, you know, he's being held accountable for, you know, is, is, is justified. But he... He did tweet out to the brands, you know, keep your money. He did. He did tell the brands, keep y'all money if y'all don't want to be in business with him. Mm -hmm. I think that might be the one that's more that's really got these brands like, oh, we're going to keep our money then. Uh, yes, we are. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I, what I would like to see happen with the baby is I would like to see him get the opportunity to learn and this become a teachable moment for everybody. You know what I mean? Like, that's all. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know what y'all want. Y'all want blood? 
I mean, this is not going to make him more empathetic to the gay struggle. Yeah, when, when you know you're wrong, you just take it. You know what I'm saying? When you know you're wrong, you let your girl beat you up. Yeah, I don't you believe that. I don't. Yeah, I don't believe. I don't. I don't. I personally don't believe he hates gay people. I don't. I don't think he, it was no. intentional at all. And I, I think the reason why he didn't want to um, apologize because I don't think he really think that he offended somebody. That's why. I don't think it was more fuck y'all anyway. I don't think it was that. I think hip hop just got to, we got to update our call and response chance, bro. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> sure, like you, sure. you, We got to update our call and response chance. Don't single people out. You know what I mean? Just say stuff like, you know, if you, if you love everybody, she makes some noise, stuff like that. You know <laughs> what I mean? I don't slap. I don't slap, but you figure out something that slap. You know why swag surf slaps so hard? Cause it's I'm with my friend. Yeah. I got a friend here. I got a friend there. It ain't nothing about money. It ain't nothing about diseases. It ain't nothing about sexuality. It's just like if you're here with your friend and you love the person next to you, put your arm around. Like at church. Put your arm around them. Everybody's got the best one. Church has got some good ass calls. Oh man. Church has got some good. Tell somebody something next to you. Oh man! Touch the person Touch next, next to you. Hold yeah. their hand. Hold their hand. Like yo, what? Yo, we got to clap and say Jesus. Go. Oh, this is great. Church got some real all inclusive. Goddamn! And you can't. How do you get canceled off Jesus? <laughs> oh no, you can cancel Jesus. They've been canceled Jesus. I know, but I mean, that's why do. he's Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, oh, they shit, they I didn't literally, think about it. He's the first one to get canceled. Yeah, they, they, they took. They and, and by the <laughs> way, they take Christ out of everything. You can't even talk about Christ in schools. Uh, they tried to p- replace Christmas with Malcolm X. You know? Yeah? Yes. I thought it was Wait, DMX. No, that's why they call it Xmas. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. These gifts going to get here by any means necessary. <laughs> okay. The ghost of DMX. All right. All right. Okay. Let's get up out of this one. What, 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 what topics we got? You want to do an ad? All right, guys, we got to take a break for a second because I got to tell you about the best thing happening with shorts right now. It's, it's unbelievable, man. It's bird dogs. It's bird dogs. It's bird dogs. It's bird dogs. This is why they're the best. It's because sometimes you run out of underwear. Let's be honest, man. You know, back in the day when I didn't have a girl, I wasn't doing laundry until I had one pair of ripped underwear left. And sometimes those were a little dirty because I didn't clean them well enough in my last load. So I had to go free balling it. I was throwing on some board shorts. I'm throwing on basketball shorts. I'm putting on anything. And now Bird Dogs solved that shit. They got a short with a built-in silky soft inner liner that makes underwear obsolete. Okay. They're the most comfortable shorts that I've ever worn. They're unbelievable, okay? You got to show the the thigh meat, show a little leg, okay? They really stole Lululemon's designer and now they're just doing it, but be- they're just doing it better, okay? So if you're not wearing bird dogs this summer, then what the fuck are you doing? Every dude needs a pair. So did bird dogs do it again or did bird dogs do it again? What do you think, Taylor? Don't answer. Go to birddogs.com, enter the promo code IDIOTS, and they'll throw in a free bird dogs whistle ball. You remember those Nerf Vortex Howler footballs that whistle when you throw them? Yeah, well, that's what they got, and that's what they're going to give it to you. Bird Dogs threw their logo on it, and they're going to send it to your house. That's birddogs.com. The promo code is IDIOTS, and boom, a free bird dogs whistle ball with your pair of bird dogs. You will not take these things off, I promise you. Now let's get back to the show. All right, we back. Uh, let's just, we might as well just get to asking idiots, baby. Let's do it. You think? Let's get to asking idiots, man. Oh, salute to Kathy. Oh, well, well you know what? Wait, let me see what we got. Taylor wants us to run through some of these topics. Let's see what we got, Taylor. All right. Oh, no, this is fucked up. I don't care how you feel about it. What? Sean King has to move because of people finding out where he lives. And I don't care how you feel about Sean King, bro. Isn't that what he does to people? Doesn't what? he post pictures of people and post their face and post their He don't post their address? Well, people figure it afterwards. He says their whole name and shows what they look like. You could do the rest. Yeah, easy. but you but they're doing they're doing that to Sean King because they want something bad to happen to Sean. Why King. you think he does it to them, B? You're out of your mind to think it's so any you different. can't identify somebody that commits a crime? First of all, you don't know if the crime was committed. You don't know if it's a crime yet. The only time I've ever seen Sean King post videos of people and pictures of people is when like somebody does something like racist, violent, and then they're like, we need to find this person. And then they post the person's picture. He's like, do you know who this person is? Or if it's a cop, he's like, what's this cop's name and badge number? So it's already stuff that's already out there publicly. All I say is this, man. Karma's a motherfucker. So whether you like Sean King or not, that man got a wife. He got kids. You don't want that shit, that type of pressure on your wife and kids? Don't do that shit do you to think people. That he, do you think that he uh, continues to do this to other people after experiencing he don't it himself? Do, he, he, I haven't seen him do this. You have who, to show who, me where he who, posted who, somebody's who's Sean, address. Who's Sean King? <laughs> Martin Luther's... Um, Son, <laughs> he took up he took up activism. He's like Martin Luther's what third, fourth son? Fourth son. Yeah, yeah. He took he took he took up activism. Yeah, like his uh-huh. dad. 
yeah, yeah. And people posted his. Uh, they posted his house. They posted his house where he lives. And that's the, even the crazy part, yeah. too, right? It was like, he got an $800,000 luxurious house in Jersey. That's not a luxurious house in Jersey. Bro. <laughs> I didn't know he lived in Jersey. Yeah. I thought he lived in Atlanta. Nah, he lived in Jersey. That's not, if, if, he had, if you spend $800,000 on a house in Atlanta, that's luxury. Yeah, that's yeah, how you know yeah. he's you, white. You got a monster over there and if you made that in Atlanta. That's super white of him. What? To live in Jersey. I love Jersey. Yeah, I love Jersey's Jersey. amazing. You're fucking white, that. bro. And like he said, it. in Jersey, eight hundred thousand dollars, dude. <laughs> <laughs> black ass cracker, crack ass cracker, crack ass blacker. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just think that's fucked up. I don't like shit like that. I don't like exposing people's private shit. I don't like when I don't like exposing their family. I, yeah, yeah the exactly. Like, the, oh, man, to do I don't it, like bro. what happens to him. I don't like when he does it to people. I don't like when other people do it to people. I think I it's disrespectful. It. I think it's rude. Period. I don't, I don't get it with dangerous. somebody I didn't like. I don't care who it is. Nah. Don't do that to people, nah. yo. I don't like that. Don't show up to my house. You know what I mean? People on your lawn. You got That's kids different. in the house. That's you know, different. Man. Yeah. Come on, bro. I know. I don't I know. like that shit, man. No way. What else we got? Uh, dangerous. Uh, Carmelo what about it? Because we talked about that. Okay, gender to be removed from birth certificates. What do you think about this show? If there's no more gender, if we're removing the idea of gender, right, is there no more wage gap? Mm. Now, I know gender and sex are different things. I think sex still exists, right? I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure sex is just... No, I don't know. I think that's, I think all of it. Well, sex is the biology. Gender is the, I you know, I guess... Oh, the, yeah, the identity. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So I guess the, the wage gap is based on sex then? Not gender, but they call it a gender wage gap, not sex wage gap. So, is there no gender wage gap? Is like the feminist movement? Does that not exist anymore? Bathrooms, like women and men bathrooms. Yeah, like once you remove yeah. sex or what? Not sex. Once you remove gender, right? Mm -hmm. And we're just these fluid individuals. You can't keep making the same thing that like groups of people are oppressed based on their gender mm -hmm. if gender never exists in the first so place. Who can have babies? So are you are you writing these people out of history? Like. Are we going to look mm. back at past feminists that were like fighting for women's rights? And then are we going to go, I mean, <laughs> how 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 bigoted were they? How so sexist they, yeah, were so they? So they'd, they'd be like, I guess, no first woman, nothing, or no first man. Like, you wouldn't be the first man on the moon. Like, you know what I mean? First person. Female accomplishments will not be female accomplishments. They'll just be, yeah. th honestly, so many female accomplishments, like, like the 100 meter dash. We're talking about the first yeah. woman on the moon. Like, all, women I don't know. could play football. All these things go away. That's Once a great there's question. no gender, there, all wow. these things are gone. I think, like, that's a, I think that's a very great and fair question that I would like to know the answer to. Kind of interesting. Yeah. But I wonder if they'll go, no, sex still exists. So people of this sex are still able to have those accomplishments first. We're just not going to call it But gender. I'm confused about that too, though, because I thought that they didn't want to be known as a sex either. That's where the pronouns come in, like the days and the... Whatever else. You know what I mean? I don't know, B. I don't, I don't know. know. I have a lot of empathy, though, for people who... who Feel like they don't identify as what their body is, what their biology is. Like I'm going to give the most hyperbolic example, but mm -hmm. if I came onto the show and I started identifying as a giraffe, mm -hmm. like you would go, Schultz, you're just acting crazy right now. Like no, you're just being absurd. Why not? I, Practicing a role. I came on this podcast years ago. Wrote about it in my book. Told you that in third grade, I thought I was a werewolf. You didn't judge me. Yeah. But I told you a story about how I told everybody I was going to turn into a wolf that day. And I sat at the table and I told you that my ears started getting pointy and hair started coming on my hand. I swear. Did you know that I, I came to me and told me that, asked me, was that story true? I swear <laughs> that that happened to me. <laughs> so, I swear. So, I mean, you didn't judge me. So I'm not going to judge you if you come in here and tell me that. I like content, bro. I'm a, I'm the type of guy that, you know, if I feel like we're going somewhere and it's fun, you know, I'm not going to cut your legs off. Uh, do I think that actually happened? Absolutely not. Well, you don't know how I feel. I know how I feel about that. <laughs> <laughs> and I, think it's, I remember you telling me that story and I, and I remember thinking... This guy will go as far as he wants in this life. <laughs> <laughs> this guy will go as far as he wants. I, I if he believes that. If he can convince himself of that absolute same story shit, over and over again for all these years. Bruh. It if really he, happened, bro. There's nothing he can't convince himself of. He put it in the bro. book. I know he did. <laughs> I was there, bro. I believe in the supernatural in a real way. I was there, okay?
Do it now. <laughs> but that's what I'm do saying. Do it now. I don't I have that belief in me. Yo, do it now. <laughs> I don't have that belief in me right now. Do it now, bro. I don't have the belief in me. Yo, you, you scared, bro. I don't have the belief in me. Yo, do it now. How? I don't have All right, turn into anything. Turn into anything. Do a little trick. Hold on, hold on. Hold up. Oh, shit. He turned gay. <laughs> Did y'all see that? That was crazy, bro. Oh, hold on. Wait, you don't even know what I am. Hold on. Let me see. Yo, the trees and shit is moving behind you. Yo, what the fuck is going on? You don't even know what I am, yo. Hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Hold on. This is Yimmya. Are you Yimmya? Mm-mm. Hold on. I see a mermaid. You are. Hands. Your hands are together. Your eyes are closed. Mantis. Your lips are closed. You are sitting there not moving. You are Professor X. Nope, bitch, I'm a cow. Okay? Move. What? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. All that? All that setup? Like, all that setup? I thought he was coming with fire, bro. Come like, on. Like, At least I was, like, or I was actually no, worried. Bro. I was like, man, no. am I going to take the no. steam off of this? My guess is some shit. Nah, bro, that Doja Cat line going to slap on Reddit. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Reddit, don't bail was, him out. Hey, Reddit, that was a don't bail him out. Line, bro. Don't bail him out of that shit, Reddit. Isn't that, wasn't that Doja it. Cat, Taylor? Bitch, I'm a cow. Bitch, I'm a cow is Doja Cat, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Bitch, I'm a cow. Come you on. weren't a cow you know in so any funny? way, shape, or form. I, I, I was a cow. No, you weren't. In my mind, I was. No, you weren't. Not even in your mind. We, we have yo, to believe him. I'm not him. even lying. It's no, 2021. Yeah, we have to believe him. I'm going to tell you something. Here we go. No, no, no. I'm going to tell you Here something that's so you crazy. Here we go. No, you I'm going to tell you something that's boy, so crazy. Bro. He's a wild boy. I'm going to tell you. He's a wild boy, I'm going to tell you that's something that's so crazy. I closed my eyes and I said, okay, I'm going to say, bitch, I'm a cow. As soon as I said that, I saw myself on a billboard writing Eat More Chicken on The Chick fil A. That's what I was thinking. See? See? You fucking 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 I was you thinking I see shit. I was thinking a Chick-fil-A fucking bitch. I don't know if you fucking with me. I swear to God, my life. I swear to God, my okay. life. When you said bitch, well, I'm a know, cow. You know, you know I thought about the Chick-fil-A what? What? billboard. What? I, I thought of a cow taking the shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> bitch, I'm a cow. <laughs> bitch, I'm a cow. No, once you, after you said bitch, I'm a cow, then I thought of a oh, cow taking the shit. Wax. But he thought after you said it too, he ain't fucking thinking. No, I thought of the billboard and the graffiti, the Chick Fil A on right? it. After he said cow. No, when I was no. sitting there thinking, because I was projecting my no, 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 energy no, no, no. After to everybody said in the room. I didn't uh-huh. say it during. After you said, I'm okay, bitch, I'm okay, a cow. okay, hold on, let's try it again. But let's... still, to go no, from still, no, to go from bitch, I'm a cow to the fucking Chick Fil A billboard, I thought it was really uh, good. Look at mine. Right, think my, another my thing. I'm gonna think another thing. Hold on, I'm gonna think another thing. Oh my god. Let's go. I'll probably get this one. Professor X. No, okay, listen, let me tell you what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm thinking of an actual action. You're thinking of an action. Thinking of like an action. fighting or praying. There you go. Or, okay, okay. Okay. All right. Let's go. Suck it or not. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I knew it from the verses last night. I knew it. <laughs> well, that was an easy one. No. Yo, this if, y'all don't make, if y'all don't make a gif <laughs> out of him doing that dance right there, y'all ain't shit. No, actually, what I, was, what I actually was thinking, I'm not going to say it, but Yo, it was say that. It. It, say was, it. it was that. Say, say, say it. It was that. It was that action. It was. It was you doing it the way. Yo, <laughs> oh my God. I swear. I swear. I swear. I, mean? swear. I just was, I was, I, cause I wanted one of y'all to say it. I was like, cause I know I'm projecting this. I'm projecting this. So you were thinking of that image, bro? You were yeah, imagining how? what? You were imagining what? I was. Imagining I, was. I was. And I should have, I should have, I should have just stayed with it a little while longer. Just one of y'all would have screamed it out. Cause I know it would have happened. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's going well, on? was it suck it or not? You was doing it to him. <laughs> yeah, but, oh, it, well, it wasn't or not then. Oh, no, y'all was doing it. No, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> what you, you don't know what's in here. Yo, ho, you said or not. Is the or not. No, in my mind, it was going down. Well, and the song was playing. Dum, dum. Y'all was that, getting it in. Was, 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 I, was that good or what? I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't get that far. What do you mean you didn't get that far? How far did you? Did y'all toe? guess so fast? You just it, started. Was it toes curling? Or? Nah, you had literally just started. <laughs> 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 you screamed it out. <laughs> you I was just standing there. I had to be gone. Nah, nah. Nah, you nah, were standing, standing there. You were cool. standing there just you fucking loving back. it. You were standing there loving I'm it, I'm in amazing grace. <laughs> <laughs> All right, ask an idiot. Go. If you could slap an artist, who would it be and why? That's I- Ben. Caker. Uh, Caker. I don't want to slap anybody. I send everybody healing energy. 
I slap some people. Who you want to slap? Somebody, man. Yo, who do I want to slap? Is there a comedian you want to slap? Mm, yeah. Who? Yeah. Who do I want to slap? But I'm not going to give them any shot. I send everybody healing energy. I don't want to slap nobody. Yeah. You like, over that? I'm so sick of violence. I am really am sick of violence. I think violence is so pointless. Mm -hmm. Respect. Okay. Uh, no Vib slap. Vibin X. Vibin X said, Vibin X got a few questions. Uh, oh, this is a good one. Used to do this. Vibin X for Andrew. How do you start your jokes in stand up? Used to show people how. Yeah, we, we had the show, uh, Inside Jokes, man. And um, I don't know, I just come up with an idea. There's, it's usually something that's happening that is culturally relevant and people care a lot about it. And uh, I try to think about why they shouldn't be outraged. Yeah. And then develop a joke around that. That's usually it. But yeah. Bobby Next also wants to know why and when did Wax start his chicken farm? You stop that shit. Why I did it? Because I thought about the money. I was I always thought outside the box. And when? About my son is eight, about nine years ago. Yeah. But I don't have it no more. I got the chicken, I got the paintball facility now. So come out there. Come out at me. Real Carlos Trejo, I want you to uh, answer your own question after watching this podcast. <laughs> All right. You can answer that yourself. Take your pick. All right. Uh, scroll down. What's the, qu what's the question? Read out the question. Oh, the question. I don't feel like that. No. Okay. <laughs> uh, ooh. Th thank you, Taylor Gaines. Taylor, nor her uncle. Her <laughs> uncle here just sweating his ass off. Okay. Um, what the heck to 13? If your exact clone sleep with your girl, man, is that cheating? That is a great question. Cardi B said on a song one time, if my man had a twin, I would let him run a train. And I think about that. I wonder, like, if your exact clone, it's your clone, sleeps with your girl, is that cheating? That would be like the ultimate test of your ego, wouldn't it be? Yeah. yeah. Jealousy and envy. This is you. Until yeah. child support come around. I had a line... And it's it's a joke a, back in the day, it's, like, uh, it's not cheating if if uh, it looks just like my girl. That's a tribute. And I think about I that, that, and I was just like, is that? I don't know. Like, yeah, but that's a girl that looks like your girl. I'm yeah. talking about your exact clone. Exact Basically, you. you. Bro, you got, identical twin? I wouldn't let my no, identical no, no, no. twin. Not twin. Clone. clone. You. This is, I took Andrew Schultz, and I cloned him. This is the variant version of Andrew Schultz. Take it down. Well, you got to take a shit. He got to take it down. Shit. Dick it down, bro. Yeah. My exact clone? Hell yeah. yeah. Let's trade off. Oh, shit. Like, you get these days, I'll get these days, and she'll be way happier. That I think that'd be You got to do all the talking. I do the fucking. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. You got to go grocery shopping. Yeah, let's split up all the duties. Okay. Like, it'd be great to have another me around the crib. Mm. I would love to test Two my waxes. ego. Yeah, yeah. I'll be performing in Texas and Minnesota today. One of y'all got to stay home, though. I get a third. They say the people that become super rich are the people who uh, find a way to be in two places at, at one time. Same time. I Zoom. would. I would. Um. Yeah. Also, they say that about uh, murderers. Murderers. Yeah. What do you mean? The ones that don't go to jail. Yeah. Nice. They find a way they to got get an alibi. Well, two yeah. They, they, the they wear two, si two shoe sizes lower. I would Ooh. love to. I would love to test and make my sure they ego. step in the blood. Ooh. Mm. That's you, did, interesting. Did you just watch a documentary about OJ? That's what happened? Isn't that basically what happened? Something like that? Oh, the glove don't fit. And then wasn't the footprints or something? Uh, that he had gout uh, and his hands got thicker. <laughs> I would love to test my ego with this, yo. Uh, yeah. Like, yeah. I, want, I just want to know what, if you could just sit back and watch your exact clone sleep with your girl. But they got to have the same ability as you. They, everything's got to be you. Like, she can't favor your clone over you. It's got to be, it's literally you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you're yeah. having conversations with you. Yeah. Everything about them the is the same. Gotta, the fuck the clone got to get off her nerves, yeah. too. So she can't yeah. like your clone either, just as much as she don't like Exactly. That. She got to hate the clone. Yeah. Get annoyed by everything the clone does. Yes. Like, you leave a plate by the thing and she's yelling at the clone. You're he like, can't, That's he, why he, he can't be Stefan and you Urkel. Yeah. yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, question. Okay, go. I'm about to piss myself. Would go. you jack your clone off? Why? No, nah, this is actually a great question. Is because it clone it's a your girl? dick. It's your dick. It's you. And he's jerking you uh, off at the same time. You masturbate. No. You can't just jerk him off, but if he jerks off you and you jerk off him at the same time, then it's just jerking off. Wax, They've got to cancel each other out. Like Wax numbers. told us he masturbates in the mirror. What would be it's the difference? stupid. No, I said yeah. I stopped jerking off because I did it in the mirror one time to see how stupid I looked. So what's the difference? Would you jack yourself off? I don't do you it You got no an more. exact clone. I don't do it no more. You he should have came before I did it. You don't jack off? Not no more. 
I look stupid. Oh, okay. So when you did jack off, me too late now. Can't ask me. This guy is trying to be straight. Boys, trying to be straight. Trying to be straight by He's holding on to that shit. <laughs> this guy. He is holding on to that <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I think we did it. Um, everybody satisfied? Damn right. We satisfied. Uh, I think we good, Taylor. Let's end on a high note. I think we did that. Well, as always, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>